And we are back Stream to close 2022. Wow. It is no <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was our audio checks. Make sure y'all were, you know, listening and that's the test. So hopefully you passed. Um, we did that not. all said they did not. Yeah. Well, we actually failed the test. So you're all good. Um, we, we all failed together. Yes. Uh, but that said, it was great to hear that ASMR legends panel. Just so interesting to hear how ASMR has evolved over the years uh, and to what it is today. And I think that that's actually a really great transition because we're now going to be talking to our ASMR gaming panel. Um, ASMR gaming is actually, I mean, clearly very a new, a new thing relatively. Um, although we do have some people, I would say maybe six, seven years ago, uh, there were some people doing it early on. Um, but that said, we do have an amazing Amazing panel here that want to share their experience, talk about um, ASMR and gaming and maybe about their channels. So why don't we go through our amazing panel here and I'm going to go from my top left. I don't know what the rest of your screen looks like, but we have FamCam ASMR, who is also one of the co-hosts here. We have ASMR Collect and Play. We have ASMR Gaming News, also known as AGN. We have Hoshi ASMR and Dido ASMR. Um, I'm all fans. Actually, I'm fans of every single person in this panel. Um, I, I definitely... I, outside of this uh watch all your channels because i do some gaming asmr myself um and so i'm really excited to chat with you guys um why don't we just start with the first and most important thing which is um if someone was to go visit your channel right now obviously you're all gaming panelists but i think um everyone here has a little bit of a different take on it um fam cam why don't you just start and let us know and then we'll go to go down here um how did you, what kind of what kind of ASMR can people expect if they look for your channel and where can they find your channel? Yeah, so you can find my YouTube channel, um, youtube.com slash famcamasmr and my Twitch channel is twitch.tv slash famcamasmr. Um, now, I'm not mostly known for gaming, but I do a lot of gaming. I put out one gaming video at the end of every month and do one gaming stream at the end of every month. And also, after TingleCon, I'll be opening up a second Twitch channel, um, uh, FamCam Gaming, that's going to be all about non-ASMR gaming, if you want to check that out. Uh, but yeah, most of the time it won't be gaming related. It will be a bunch of other stuff too, like role plays, trigger videos. I do a lot of comedy role plays. I love doing impressions. Um, but, but if you want to check out the gaming content, I love playing, uh, retro games, uh, mostly Mario and Zelda. Um, I love me some golden eye and every now and then I love me some overwatch and a bunch of others, of course. Fantastic. Oh, and um, Can't and forget Among I, Us. I just want to interrupt here real quick because, guys, um, we are live right now, actually, um, for those who don't know. Um, so if you have any questions or anything for the panel here, please feel free to leave them in the chat. Um, our associate Paul will be fielding them and we'll definitely be asking them um, just in a couple questions here. We're going to be leaving a lot of time for audience questions. So just make sure you post them in the chat. Um, and now with that said, Collect and Play, do you want to talk a little bit about where people can find you and kind of what uh, kind of uh, ASMR you're making? Yeah, sure. Um, you can find me just about anywhere. Um, I mainly my main platform. Uh, is definitely YouTube, uh, ASMR Collect and Play on YouTube. I do go live five days a week on that channel, plus shorts and videos, long form uh, as well. Um, play just about anything, uh, main, mainly shooters, I'd say, uh, which is so strange to say because uh, you, you that's not the first thing that you would think of when it comes to ASMR. But um, from as long as I can remember, controller sounds have been probably my favorite aspect of asmr and uh there's a lot yeah exactly there's a lot of controller sounds when it comes to you know those fast-paced uh shooter games and um i know there's at least agn would probably agree with me on that one with uh you know fortnite and and just um fast-paced games can be surprising how relaxing we can make it so um yeah uh youtube definitely main platform but i'm on everything so you have if you're not big into YouTube, you can follow me on Twitch, TikTok, um, Instagram, Twitter, everything. So, awesome, yeah, awesome. Uh, ASMR Gaming News. I, I'm just gonna call you AGN because it is a lot easier than <laughs> saying your full name. So, AGN, what about you, my friend? Where can people find you, and what can they expect to find when they visit? Yeah, so you can find me on uh, YouTube. I go by the name ASMR Gaming News. Uh, the channel started as a news gaming asmr channel so i do weekly news uh on various video game announcements and stuff like that but uh, it kind of transformed and evolved over time uh, i play a variety of video games a lot of fortnite because it's one of my favorite games so always playing some fortnite on the channel 
Uh, I love Nintendo, so I usually try to play at least one or two Nintendo games every other week. Uh, and yeah, I, I just try to make games that I enjoy uh, relaxing by either whispering, uh, controller sounds. Uh, I do various like trigger words or fast mouth sounds. And I also do uh, gum chewing, which has grown pretty popular, I would say, in the last two years in like the ASMR scene. So kind of try to do a little bit of everything to keep uh, most of my subscribers entertained. But uh, yeah, that's mostly uh, what I do. And I try to keep an emphasis on like entertaining, fun, chill and relaxing content for uh, for everyone. Awesome, awesome. Uh, one more thing I want to interject here just before I get into Onto Hoshi here, but um, this panel will be two hours long. So you have plenty of time to put your questions in there. Um, you're not going to run out of time here. So guys, just a heads up. We will be here for a while uh, just chatting everything. So like I said, feel free to post your questions um, in the chat. You have a couple hours here. Um, Hoshi, why don't you tell us where we can find your channel and maybe what we can expect to find? Yeah, so I'm on YouTube as Hoshi ASMR. You could search it up, should pop up. I'm, uh, I mainly do Genshin Impact videos and a little bit of other things that just catch my attention. Like lately it's been a Stray and soon to come the Spider-Man game that just came out for PC finally. <laughs> and nice. I do a, a lot of uh, gum chewing, just whispering ear to ear. I got second microphone over here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm more on the smaller spectrum of the channel, so. It's always enjoyable. <laughs> awesome. And Dino, what about you? Where can we uh, find your content and what can we expect to find? Uh, so my name is Dido. Um, I mainly post on YouTube, but also as of recently um, on TikTok and also I stream on Twitch. Uh, I, my channel was kind of initially built on ASMR card magic and card games, but I also um, started my channel by growing it into the ASMR gaming community, which is where it kind of developed from as well. But I also do a whole bunch of other things such as mukbangs, uh, traditional ASMR triggers, uh, role plays, and a lot more. So if you come over, you're bound to expect a lot of things, puzzles as well, and just a whole bunch of things. Fantastic, fantastic. Well, that's great. I hope all you will take a moment to go check out all their channels. And that all said, I think it's just important for us to sort of set a baseline. I pretty much ask every ASM artist this question because I think it's just so interesting how everyone kind of comes into the community. But um, why don't we start with FamCam? Because I don't actually know if you've had a chance in all the really the years to answer this question here. Um, but can you share how you got into ASMR and how you started creating? Yeah, so... Uh, several years ago, one of my favorite uh, YouTubers, Review Tech USA, who does a lot of tech and gaming news um, on his channel, put out a video of an ASMR unboxing of the NES Classic. It was like a couple months after Nintendo canceled it for the first time. Um, a really nice couple he knew at his local GameStop had one in the back, and they sold it to him above asking price. Not by not at scalper level, obviously, but a, a little bit more. Um, so he decided to do an unboxing of it. It was in a, it was in a bunny bag, <laughs> and the sounds he was making with with the bag before he took took the box out of the bag were really soothing. And um, he explained in, early in the video that he watches those kinds of videos to help him fall asleep. And throughout my entire life, I've had the worst insomnia of everybody i know and i knew i had to check out the category and i went deep down a rabbit hole uh in it and eventually i thought to myself this has been helping me so much i want to give back and i have a long background of making videos for fun i've been doing it since i was 10 doing claymation and whatnot um so i thought you know why don't I start making my own ASMR videos? So I did. And when I told my sister that she could not believe it because I am one of the loudest people she knows. Um, so she sort of laughed out loud at that, but um, I went for it and the rest is history. Awesome. I, I want to take a moment here just to read some of the comments here before we jumped into collect and play as I answer here. Um, but we, uh, we've we got here, we've got Zinc6H. Hello, Dido as poggers. Thank you. Welcome to the chat, Zinc. <laughs> um, we've got uh, the ASMR medic. Welcome, my friend, an, an informative oh, yes. ASMR artist. Uh, yeah, we love you the there. Welcome. Medic. 
welcome and, welcome and, my friend and, uh, and jamie thank, and jamie and connor thank you for the follows as well fantastic atlas asmr welcome my friend you've had a long break welcome Glad, great to see you're alive and doing well yeah. um cat bailey also i saw in there welcome cat bailey nice, secret nice. scholar Another informative ASMR friend. Welcome to the channel. Um, Hobo Joe, great to see you there. Um, we have some love for AGN here. Hobo AGN, Jamie, J, no, Ja335 me. I'm just going to say Jamie for that one. Uh, <laughs> a lot of love for AS, uh, for AGN. Also, Dido um, saying they are a mod for Dido. So yeah. a little love in the chat there. Um, oh, my God, it's Dido in his real voice for once. That Jamie, Jamie <laughs> says that. Um, <laughs> and let's whenever, see. Here. Whenever we um, go on on stream talking our normal voice, that comments like every five. Yes, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. I I posted a like a TikTok story uh, right before going live, and I was like, "Hey, I'm gonna be doing this panel," and somebody of course commented, "Oh my god, it's his real voice." And it's like <laughs> I, you you don't have to search very far to find my it's, real. It's voice. like they like, don't it's think it's that everywhere we, we have a real voice. I know, yeah. I know. But yeah, no, that's funny. I, I actually, I actually uh, collecting... had that feeling long before I even knew what ASMR was. Um, when mm -hmm. I was in college, I uh, I uh, I got behind the camera filming a um, Google Fiber event at my college, and um, they pulled audience questions, and I had one. So they handed them, they handed the mic to me, and uh, before I got to speak, uh, uh, the panelist said, "I didn't think ca uh, cameramen have voices." So I so I turned to them, and I was like. <laughs> <laughs> awesome awesome uh i want to read a few more comments here uh we got uh more love for dido and um some some oh collect and play has rated oh independent bitch says collect and play rated yes and it was that's awesome so funny it's such a small world yes, because uh, yes. we were uh both of us went on fam cams um podcast and we we're i think we were back to back um yeah yes yeah, and i was like oh my gosh wait I know her. I it's a small it's world. We all yeah, I know. Yeah, a lot it's, of love is, in this community. Is. That's for it sure. Oh, well, so with that said, Collect and Play, why don't you tell us kind of how you got an ASMR? How did you start creating too? Uh, so funny story. Um, I my sophomore year of college, uh, you know, dorm room life. Uh, I had a had a buddy of mine that I that I had to share a room with. He snored unbearably loud, unbearably loud, and uh, so that that. Um, led me to start sleeping with headphones and i always grew up with like a little sound machine a, a lot of you guys does anybody remember it was like a circular alarm clock that projected on yes. the ceiling the time yes. and it had oh, yes. six different sounds on it exactly i you guys aren't the, but only it was, six it's, it's only a like a very three, popular yeah, thing couple. yeah it was a very popular i thought it was like a hidden gem and like now I, I i tell people about it and everybody's like yeah i had that same one and i did they yeah. still make those i it, they should they should i don't it, know if it, anyone's it, buying them I would, yeah, yeah. and I, honestly, I would just for the nostalgia factor myself. But um, 100%. Or if like there was an updated one with maybe like twenty sounds, um, but no, I always, I always grew up with that, and so um, to you know combat this extreme snoring that was going on in my dorm room, uh, I started sleeping with headphones, and uh, fam cam. I think you used the term rabbit hole uh, er earlier. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what happened with me. I started with. You know, your basic rain sounds and um, maybe like a, you know, soothing river or something. I also grew up, um, the house I grew up on uh, was like backed up to a river. So like you could open up the window and you could hear the river sounds. Um, so like that also gave me like a nice That's little homey best. feeling. Yeah, exactly. Especially when it's natural. Um, like it, it gave me a kind of like a more homey feeling. And that rabbit hole kicked in and uh started rec recommending me asmr videos and i was like what is this and i was like oh i kind of like this and I, I was a fan long before i became a creator and um yeah that's definitely where it all started but i can remember all the way back to when i was a kid does anybody remember like the tube tvs that like the big tube TVs that when you, about, when, oh, you when you would turn when you would turn tvs when you would turn them on they would have that like that like very high pitched like hissing oh, yeah. sound <laughs> and it, yeah. you you would hear yeah. this it was it was like the static uh coming off of the oh my gosh that that was like the I best sound in the world to me that, yeah i know that was like the best sound in the world to me and um and thinking back it definitely was like a form of asmr so 
uh, I, I I didn't know it. I didn't know it at the time, but I've been a fan of ASMR all my life, pretty much. And and I started my channel six years ago, and it's been a it's been a long journey, but yeah, it's been fun. It's been fun. I enjoy it a lot. Fantastic, fantastic. Yeah. I want to read a few more little comments here. Um, Memer the lemur says, "This is awesome. Most of my favorite ASMR artists are here." Also, he <laughs> says, "Collect and play. I love your Pokemon card guessing series." Yes. Shout out. Thank there. you. Cool. Uh, so now let's move on to AGN. Do you want to talk about um, how you got into ASMR and then how you started creating? Yeah, for sure. Okay, so uh, I created my channel about six years ago, but my journey, I guess, with ASMR begins long before that. Uh, I won't go like, I, <laughs> too far back, but uh, I think around like old old classic YouTube, like I'm talking 2007, 2008 YouTube, uh, there was like a very popular video, which was like a haircut. And it was like a 3D audio haircut, uh, which oh, yeah. mirrored like left to right uh, that you would feel when you would get a genuine haircut at a like barber shop. So I, I clicked on this thing because people were talking about it on some like gaming forums and I clicked on it and I was like, wow, this is like really relaxing. I, I, <laughs> I thought it was a joke at first and I was kind of hooked. So I would listen to that, you know, a few times every week for a while until I got bored of it. And um, I started thinking, hey, maybe there's other videos like this online and I couldn't really find anything. But uh, before going to sleep when I was younger and even around this period of time, I would always like ambient sounds or nature sounds, especially. So uh, near my house, there was a library where you could borrow and kind of take home certain uh, relaxing, like uh, ambient uh, nature sound CDs. And these CDs would have like 12 tracks on them with like uh, thunderstorm sounds for 30 minutes, uh, ocean sounds like ocean waves on a beach yeah, for like 30 I minutes. That. And I, I would take these home. I would listen to them over and over again, uh, sometimes during the day when I was like doing schoolwork and I was like stressed out and I was like, I need a little break. I'm going to listen to this. And uh, that eventually evolved to, hey, what if I listen to this uh, before going to sleep uh, to relax? And I would like fall asleep immediately sometimes listening to this stuff. So uh, I would just, you know, continuously listen to these. And I forget exactly when I think it was around 2014 or around that period of time where I started seeing videos on the sidebar on YouTube recommending me uh, content called like ASMR, whispering and all these other things. I was like why what is this what what does this have to do with nature sounds so i clicked on those uh i found you know a lot of now legendary asmr channels you know that started around that time and i started watching all these videos i, I really got into asmr and i had like a folder of like my favorite asmr videos that i created and i would listen to them uh during the daytime when i would like uh, study or when i just needed to relax uh before going to sleep and Eventually, I do what everybody does, I think, on YouTube, where you start searching for things that you like with something else. So I was like, hey, I like Nintendo. Let's search for <laughs> ASMR Nintendo and see if there's any videos for <laughs> ASMR, uh, you know, PlayStation or things like this. And in the early days of like ASMR on YouTube, I would barely find anything like it would be maybe one or two channels uploading a couple of videos here and there. And I would like, oh, someone has something. This is amazing. And I would like favorite those and listen to them over and over again. And eventually, after doing that for a couple of years, in like 2016, I would say I started getting like the urge to do this. So I was like, maybe I should make my own channel base it around gaming or gaming news and make it relaxing and it's almost like i would say almost like a a, a calling of sorts where like i would like ignore it and i would be like eh, i'll create a channel maybe in a week or two weeks or three weeks and then i still wouldn't do it but eventually i told myself you know what i'm gonna make the channel today going to make a channel trailer let's see where this goes and that's exactly what i did on august 10th uh 2016 and i've been happy with the asmr gaming community and everything that's come from that so very very happy with everything awesome that's a great story that's a great story i think a lot of us can relate to that but it's interesting because you know as 
people become into ASMR as the future continues. I think there won't be those CDs or the machine that plays the sounds. It'll be through YouTube and a totally different experience coming into the community. So that's super interesting. Uh, yeah. I have a few more little comments here as well. Um, and then I want to get into the next two folks here with their personal stories. Um, what we've got from Beak358 says, oh, everyone is here. AGN, Collect and Play and Dido. That's crazy. Member the Lemur also giving a shout out to the Sonic Adventure vids. I think that's for AGN, AGN's channel. Um oh Jamie, Love Jamie says, points. I've been waiting for. Yes. <laughs> that's like, that's like one of my waiting. favorite games. That's like one of my favorite games of, of my childhood. So like to, to see AJ and do those. It's things. my favorite 3D Sonic game. It's for funny. Sure. Oh yeah. It's the best. Yeah. It's the best. But Sonic Mania is my favorite Sonic game overall. Yeah. Yes. Return to classics. I you got to return them. Yeah, you got to return the classics. Mm -hmm. um, Jamie says, I've been waiting for Sneaky Sasquatch Part 2 from AGN since the Part 1 series. <laughs> um, let's see. Again, uh, questions here. We're going to, I see a question here. We're not going to ask that now. We'll ask that um, just a little bit later on. So if you do have questions, make sure you do message um, in the chat. Uh, Beak also says here, this is my first time hearing AGN's normal voice. Wow. All right, we've heard that comment a few times. Uh, <laughs> That should be on the bingo card. That's yeah. got to be on the bingo card <laughs> right there. That's it. It'll be on tomorrow's bingo card. How about that? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. 100%. I thought of that. All right. <laughs> so, Hoshi, um, do you want to tell us a little bit about how you got into ASMR uh, and how you started gaming? No, I'm sorry, how you started creating <laughs> uh, Yeah, for sure. Almost the same. I started gaming and went nothing. But um, so the first time I heard about ASMR was from my brother, mainly because I. I got a, in a really bad car accident and I had like really bad PTSD and I couldn't sleep at night. I was struggling. So I started just listening to music, but that wasn't doing it for me. And one time my brother was just like, hey, I listened to this one chick. It might be a little weird for you, but you could give it a try. And it was uh, Heather Feather. And I just I just listened to Heather Feather like nonstop every night. And it helped so much to like help me fall asleep. And then finally, like on the suggested side, uh, a gaming video popped up for ASMR. And I was like, they do gaming too? And I was like, I like gaming. <laughs> and it was Luminen, I believe was his name. Oh, nice. And I was like, I love this. I inst instantly subscribed to Luminen. I watched all his videos. And after that, I was just like, I should start my own channel. And I was like, oh, I'm too scared though. So, and that was in like 2016. And I was like, uh, maybe I'll, I'll wait a little bit more. And I I waited till 2018. And that's when I was like, I should probably really do it. Because I really enjoy it. And I want to be able to share this with other people. So that's when I started it. What about you, Dado? Can I, can I piggyback on? Oh, good. Yeah, can yeah. Can I go piggyback ahead, on, on uh, his story? So uh, Absolutely. He, he mentioned... You said it was your your brother was the one that suggested it to you. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, uh, yeah. One of one of uh, I I kept my channel secret from just about everybody in my personal life for the longest time because I was a like you know you know it's like you the stigma the of ASMR. Franchise. It's like you know it's like uh, is you know will will my friends you know understand or you know kind of deal like that? But um, no, my my friend came to me first and was like, hey, you gotta you gotta uh have you ever listened to asmr and i was like if this was like three years into me having a, a an asmr channel and i'm like dude i'm about to blow your mind and i like <laughs> slam my phone on the table and it's like look and he's like oh my god and it was it was like the 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 start to everything of of like me like just kind of sharing with my friends and family and stuff so i, I thought that was that's kind of that's funny. amazing yeah that's yeah. truly amazing <laughs> Dido, what about you? What's your uh, ASMR origin story? You want to share that with us? I guess uh, for for like ASMR, it's kind of something that I would say I've always experienced. I just never really knew it until I discovered it, which if I had to guess, I would say was probably around 2013, 2014. And um, I, well, I particularly remember it being in 2014 because... Um, that was when I first discovered Heather Feather and it was also around the time where I was kind of uh, listening to a few other I guess you could say like OGs kind of yeah. uh, like massage ASMR, mm. uh, softly galoshes, um, uh, ASMR requests, Ali um, and 
I remember yeah. I was going on holiday um, to Spain and I was going away for two weeks and our hotel didn't have Wi-Fi. And I remember thinking, um, oh no, what am I going to do? Because I kind of relied on it to help me fall asleep. And I just remember trying to um, definitely not uh, uh, making three hour long videos of of everyone else's videos just combined in screen recordings <laughs> and and downloading them on my phone and going on holiday and listening to them to fall asleep and i remember my brother being like can you hear noises because i had my earphones in and he'd i'd be like no <laughs> and then um so I, I kind of solely relied on it then and since then i've always kind of been looking into as you guys said to new things that they make asmr on like as soon as i realized there was gaming i was like what there's there's asmr gaming and i've always been a huge fan of basketball and you know what cnp i've probably watched one of your old nba uh, asmr <laughs> videos before yeah. i even knew you were you if that makes sense before yeah. i made my channel <laughs> uh-huh and i it got to the point where in 2018 i thought you know it, it's about time I, I give back for all all the you know times it's helped me fall asleep and, and de-stress and things like that so that's when i made my channel and it has been one of the best best things i've ever done because i remember when when i first created it so this is kind of also what cnp said i had a few people come up to me like have you have you heard of this asmr thing and i'd be like no i, I don't really know what it was because i still also had that sort of not shame but as if like i didn't want to get involved and be like uh, the anxiety you know, of it all, yeah you know? exactly yeah. and um one day i just went you know what i i kind of have to do it i kind of have to let people know so but i'm so glad i have because it's been the best decision of my life so yeah for sure um, just to reiterate here, if you do have questions for the panel, we are here for about another hour and a half and you can leave them in the Twitch chat. We will make sure to notate them and I will be asking them, um, a little bit later on here. So yeah, don't hesitate. Please put them out there in the chat. We welcome questions of our panelists here. Um, okay. That's really, really great. I really, uh, appreciate you sharing all that with us. Um, can you guys share a little bit? So why don't we jump in a little bit about gaming? Because I think that's sort of the specific thing. We've sort of touched on it because it's, it is a very unique niche, but I think it might be one of the fastest growing, um, ASMR niches of all of them. And really just in, considering how new it is, what is the, that intersection of ASMR and gaming? Again, I think we've touched kind of on that, but maybe we could clarify it a little bit more. Um, how do the two connect? Um, Keith, do you want to talk a, bit, a little bit about that? Yeah, so it's combining two very common, uh, calming passions. Um, I, I guess gaming isn't always calming, but a lot of people like to play games to de-stress. Um, it's, it's a perfect escape, just like ASMR is, and uh, combining the two uh, makes it twice as powerful the way I see it. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I definitely have a, my own theory about this, uh, if I can. Please. Yeah, yeah. yeah, please share. Yeah, uh, the way I see it is like gaming is constantly growing even bigger and bigger every single year. And I think the, the there's always like a variety of gaming content that you can find online. But a lot of, you know, gamers or people that, that just like to watch Let's Plays or uh, live streams of other people playing games, there's a certain portion, I would say, of those people that sometimes want something relaxing, something chill, uh, you always hear uh, people saying, I want something chill, chill vibes. Uh, and a lot of people like to watch uh, gaming content before going to sleep, uh, a little Let's Play video that their favorite YouTuber uploaded or streamer. And some people, not not everybody, but I would say there's a, a decent percentage of people, I think, that maybe they don't want you know a person constantly yelling before they go to sleep in their face on a crazy kill they got in Call of Duty or... Fortnite, and some people i think want something a little more relaxing calms them down right before they go to sleep and i think that's where asmr and gaming kind of meets because there's a, a serious i would say uh amount of people that really want content like that and if they don't know about it yet they probably will want it in the future so yeah that's Absolutely. exactly what i was gonna say as well because sometimes although um maybe not as much as i used to back a few years ago um 
it, it might not be exactly ASMR that I use to fall asleep. I'll just fall asleep to, as you said, someone that I like playing video games fall and, and fall asleep to that. And even sometimes just watching ASMR, I'll, I won't even close my eyes. I'll just watch the person and listen in and it still sounds nice. And so the entertainment aspect to it through gaming is, is the perfect combination. Uh, I'd like to say that like for me personally, um, and I'm a very competitive person. Uh, I've been a competitive person all my life. Uh, the the bigger gaming seems to grow, the bigger it seems to get, uh, the more um, competitive, the, the competitive scene of, of gaming has grown ex- exponentially over the last, shoot, 10 years. And um, for me, I've started to realize that the ASMR side of things, I get asked this all the time, would you rather do ASMR gaming or gaming? And like while I've, you know, I have my Twitch channel that I do, you know, regular gaming, and I do have uh, outlets that I do regular gaming on. I've found that, like, when I'm doing the ASMR gaming, it brings the fun kind of back into the gaming. It, it, it I'm way less yeah, yeah. stressed. Sometimes I'll do four hour streams on my, on, you know, or like a five hour stream on my Twitch or second YouTube channel or somewhere else where I, you know, keep my gaming side of things. And I like get off of the stream and I'm like, I'm, I'm like, stressed like i'm stressed Mm -hmm. i stressed myself out trying to get these clips and like trying to get these crazy plays and and it's 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 almost exhausting in a way and and i'm glad that i have this outlet where i can you know stream for three hours and by the end of it i'm tired i'm tired i'm i almost put myself to sleep and it's like uh you know it's it's just a different side i feel like it's kind of bringing the fun back uh into gaming because games have always been fun uh but i think in the in in the recent um and just like the past couple years i think it started to get a little bit more on the on the side of like you have to be the best in the world or you have to you have to hit these crazy clips to to be entertaining or to be you know have any kind of following in the gaming world and and that's just simply not true and i'm I've kind of realized that over like the last, I'd say like three months, even like very, very recently have I realized that. And I'm glad I have because I've, I've really been enjoying myself for the last, for the last uh, couple months playing ASMR, playing video games while doing ASMR. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's unlike any other kind of gaming you'll really it's watch unique. or do. You know, it's unique. It's very unique. Yeah. I, yeah. I definitely agree with that. Like I recently finished a let's play of Sonic adventure. I played through Sonic's story. Uh, before that I played super Mario 64, you know, classic Mario game. And the, the entire time I was doing, you know, ASMR while playing these games, I was like, you know what? I'm having a great time. Like I'm yeah. relaxed. Yeah. This is like super chill i i don't feel like forced to do a speed run uh mm-hmm. perfect uh you know collect all the mario stars under this time limit or anything and i don't know i just had like almost the best time playing uh mario 64 recently like i always love the game but i think i never felt more relaxed playing it than when i recorded this asmr series that i did for it so i definitely agree with you 100 percent. 100 percent. hoshi Hoshi, do you want to have a chance to talk just maybe a little bit about your thoughts on yeah. kind of gaming and the intersection of ASMR? For sure. Yeah. Sorry, I'm a little quiet. I, I work graveyard, oh, no. so I'm usually <laughs> asleep right now. But, uh, <laughs> no, yeah. Um, sorry, my mind's like foggy. But um, so with gaming, I feel like a, a lot of like I watch a lot of Twitch and a lot of Twitch streamers are very, very loud <laughs> and very, very energetic like super all all, sorry my camera but all in and I just a lot of times I just want to relax I just want to be in my bed chill watch a video like not even to fall asleep like I would when it comes to ASMR gaming I just watch it to relax it's not really for sleeping if I want to fall asleep I'll listen to like a different kind of ASMR but for gaming for me it's just just a way to relax and just get my mind out of a stressful environments of work and life in general and like agn uh his sonic game uh videos have been rocking it like i've been loving those that's (laughs) literally what i've been watching a lot of and uh yeah so that's my thought on it fantastic 
Um, I want to uh, make just uh, read out some of the comments here, but I just wanted to tell you because I thought I would add, add my one comment here for my own experience because I do think it's kind of related here in this intersection. But um, I do find that definitely making gaming ASMR is more pleasant than on. Honestly, like I do a lot of Overwatch gaming and I uh, am in the GM rank. So when I play it, it's just like everyone is a try hard and it's really unpleasant. I don't even enjoy doing it anymore. But when I'm doing it for like gaming, I'm just whispering and join it i don't know it actually becomes enjoyable again in some way and i'm like yeah like just doing some asmr gaming coaching relaxing we're just re like we're just having a good time i remember why i actually like this game <laughs> when, when i'm not uh, no, doing that i'm like yeah, this is awful 100%. i hate this <laughs> yeah <laughs> so i thought you know it's worth mentioning like all those you know even even the competitive side of it when you throw that in there it just becomes better um so i want to read a couple comments here um that I think we have from our uh, audience here. Um, Beak358 says, my favorite thing to do is hop on Rocket League and go into training while training, listen to ASMR in the background. Yes, yeah. mm -hmm. love Rocket League. Um, let's see, Oscarek1799 says, I love listening to AGN's Fortnite videos while playing Fortnite. Yeah. That's a bit meta, <laughs> that's deep. A little uh, inception there. Um, Let's see here. Okay, we have another comment here that I guess we, we want to get a clarification from AGN here. Jamie's saying, I'm still waiting for Sneaky Sasquatch Part 2. Can we, <laughs> can we make a comment on that? or? Yes, that video <laughs> will be coming at some point in the future. <laughs> All right, yeah. excellent, excellent. <laughs> uh, Famcam, oh, that was you. Okay, I'm going to all hail King CNP. We'll just read it. You know, I'll just make that make it awkward. Oh, God. Okay. Um, <laughs> we got a, a it's, it's Moses Garcia. Absolutely. Oh, God. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Uh, We're going to say Moses uh, CNP, one of CNP's mods, uh, one time changed his name on YouTube to all hail King CNP. So we kind <laughs> yes. of been joking about it. Astic. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> We do have a little bit of love in the chat for the ASMR craft server. You know what? Why don't we just take 10 seconds before we start the next question? Maybe AGN, do you want to, maybe you might be the person to, can you tell us about that ASMR craft uh, server that is out there in case, you know, for those who may not know what's, what's okay, going so, on? Okay, so I don't know much because I have not actually joined. Oh, I um, thought it was I, you I, were I in there. Oh, I, I can okay, help. Okay, collect and play, collect and play. You, you um, lay it down. Yeah, yeah, so, tell us what's going on. Yeah, so um, ASMRcraft was a server that was set up by uh, the ASMR medic who is uh, somebody that I've actually been following for a long time. And uh, this is actually season two of his uh, server. I think they had one for like 1.18 or 1.17. I'm not sure um but it's they they recently just wiped the entire server they reset it for 1.19 because there was a new there was a new minecraft update that came out and i have had a lot of fun playing it on, on there myself um i've i've done just you know some of the basics but there's you know I've, there's a there's a bunch of it's free to join it's um there's a, a whole claiming system to where you know you can claim your items and nobody can mess with your items and it's honestly, I, I, it's very, very, um, very uh, advanced when it comes to when it comes to like my Minecraft knowledge. I, it's the first time I've ever been in something like this, and I've had a blast. So definitely check it out. Um, yeah, de definitely check it out if you could. Fantastic, awesome. If you're a okay, fan so of Minecraft. Let's <laughs> yes, if you love Minecraft. Um, so that said, um, why don't we jump into this next question? Because I think. Uh, we probably have one or two from me, and then I'm probably going to just launch into the questions we have from the audience because we're getting a lot here. We're probably already, I can tell you, we're going to run up to time right now. Um, so um, the next question, I think it's important to just address this. Um, Famcam, why don't you start us off here? Um, for people who might say gaming is not ASMR, I personally get this in my comment section, like uh, this isn't ASMR, what's this? What would you say to somebody who would say that about gaming asmr in general watch something else i mean i i would say that if people find it relaxing and i think that's it like if other people find it relaxing uh and subscribe to you know people that do gaming asmr content that kind of 
disproves what they're saying in a sense because yeah. you know there's some people that really hate like mouth sounds or chewing sounds or fast tapping asmr and I, I see even in those videos people will comment like this isn't real asmr or if a video has whispering instead of soft speaking you'll have people say this isn't real asmr yeah. so i don't know i, I think uh, i think it's talking that way yeah a book by its cover concept yeah like, like yeah you go, you go into one channel or two and think this is an asmr some other asmr ga uh, gamers or some other videos of the same creator might be more relaxing for you and never know it it doesn't hurt to to shop around keith your mic is a little low there just wanted to mention that uh, um jb really? ace oh, weird. gaming asmr is wonderful is wonderful uh two <laughs> best things in one says jb ace yeah definitely um, agree yeah agreed uh the beauty of asmr is that it has so much variety says beak 358 absolutely true oh yeah um okay so let's go through uh, asmr collection play what, what what would you say to somebody who might say that uh i just bring up a personal antidote of um I, I feel like i've just been talking about my childhood this whole time uh but no um I used to, I have an older brother and, and, uh, we, we both played football, uh, all through high school. And, um, he, we used to have morning workouts, right. We'd go and, you know, crack a dawn, go and do our, you know, morning runs and practice and whatever. This was all you know, a couple of weeks up going up, up to the school year. And he would get back and he would, we had, we didn't, we, we had separate rooms, but for some reason he would choose to take a nap a post-practice nap in my room while i would play video games and he would always make me turn down the tv and this was like before i even had like you know this was before like headsets were like kind of like a, a a necessity of gaming um so i would turn the tv completely down and i would just sit there and play my you know whatever single player game i was into at the time and maybe if actually it was a lot of times it was probably minecraft um Nice. And now I realize that he, I, and I've never asked him about this, and I, I, I one day I will. But um, I, I, I guarantee you, it was just a relaxing sensation for him to hear me clicking around on a controller with the just a calming game in the background while he took a nap. I mean, it's just like that's I, that's that that's what I would say to to somebody that says that you know gaming isn't relaxing and it's it's gaming's what you make it honestly at the end of the day so yeah that's what i would say the irl uh experience huh <laughs> yeah no 100 percent. yeah he was he was the first one to ever to ever hear any of asmr collect and play sounds live so yeah <laughs> you're a lucky guy look guy. Uh, hoshi <laughs> what about you uh what would you say to the critics who might say you know, the person who leaves the comment, they're like, nah, this is not relaxing at all. What would you oh, say? Oh, man. Uh, I would just tell them to keep watching or, I mean, some stuff's not for everyone, I think. So either they, they're into it or they're not. Like, it, it's really up to people, in my opinion. I, I think I'd give them, like, a few examples and be like, hey, watch these other videos. Tell me what you think. Maybe you'll feel a little relaxed. Try watching it in bed and just chill out <laughs> <laughs> that's the only thing i could think of saying to them and go check out the asmr gaming nerd skyrim videos and then come back and tell yes. me it's not relaxing huh yeah <laughs> yes. that's an og um, right there there it is uh yeah, we, dido we, do you want to tell us to get oh. him on um but unfortunately he has he has his thesis defense going mm. on this week um, oh yeah he's gonna be dr nick nice I, yeah there you go i want to leave a chance for us to leave a lot of love for what inevitably will be an asmr gaming nerd love fest but um Dido, <laughs> do you want to just quickly tell us uh what you feel like might be a critic or like how would you respond to somebody who might say like this isn't asmr what is this it's just gaming like what would you say to that person uh i'd kind of just echo what um hoshi said and, and agn as well you know everyone's everyone likes different things about ASMR. And, you know, for example, if you just pick a generic trigger, like, like, as you said, mouth sounds, someone might not like it, but someone else might absolutely love it. And, you know, if someone doesn't like gaming combined with whispering or soft spoken, whatever it is you're doing, with controller sounds, then, you know, probably it's not for them. It's kind of, it's just as simple as that. 
Absolutely. And that's one of those things with ASMR. There's just so many different styles like music or anything else. Um, yeah. You know, I think that's an important thing to notate here just for people who, you know, go, you can watch your, whatever you want. No one is forcing you. So um, for those commenters out there, just know that. Um, I think right now we should transition. And I want to start with Dido because we, uh, it's been, you know, we get to him last. So I want to start with him <laughs> first. Uh, why don't we just, what, do you want to talk about some ASMR artists that do gaming ASMR that you really enjoy? You want to give a shout out to just so other people might know who else to look out for out there sure well of course as you guys just mentioned you know you've got uh, the asmr nerd um who's, who does amazing uh, asmr gaming videos uh jubilee whispers as well um she does great videos um i've always been uh, great friends with as clamar because uh, i've always enjoyed playing fifa and uh he does great fifa asmr videos and uh, let's play as well he's also one of one of someone someone that I've, I've been in contact with quite a bit um because i've enjoyed his minecraft videos and i mean minecraft is one of the biggest games that there is so uh, they're just some of the some of the asmr gamers that i would say are some of my favorites and need definitely need worthy of noting if you've not already Absolutely. checked them out yeah, please go check those folks out. Um, this is a great comment here from Bay Bay. ASMR is like food. Everyone has different tastes. That is a very good comment exactly, there. Yeah. yeah. Bay Bay also is saying Jubilee is amazing. Yeah, we should give a shout out to Jubilee ASMR. Also fantastic. Um, Joshi, do you want to tell us a little bit about some of the gaming ASMR? I think you've mentioned a few, but um, just maybe some people you really enjoy or would like to share with the audience. Yeah, so like I was really big fan of Luminin back in the day. And luckily I have some of his videos downloaded because way back in the day, like I lived at my brother's for a bit and he didn't have internet. So I'd go to McDonald's, download some videos and then go <laughs> home and be able to watch them at night. And so Luminin, I, his channel, I don't think it exists anymore. I, I yeah. keep looking for it and it's not there. Yeah, it's gone. He he deleted it, sadly. I was an early subscriber to his channel and yeah, it's gone. That is so sad. Yeah, uh, you can only find the video he did uh, with the ASMR nerd now because that's still up. Mm. So yeah, that one. And then obviously I'm a big fan of uh, ASMR nerd, like big fan. <laughs> so whenever he like, first commented met. at... I know first yeah that's true that is how we met but first time here i think like, it might be how we all met i feel i feel like that's like a, <laughs> a common theme the there. Connector well yep. dido i yep. met yeah. when agn invited me to join uh him and cnp and a bunch of others uh on a um among us collab we did a couple of years ago oh cool that's so oh, cool. yeah yeah cool uh, AGN, sound, i know the this way. Way. My was quiet yeah, now you sound better, good better, now better, sound you're good. back awesome. yes you're back um AGN, so you, this is a question you kind of, we talked about beforehand. Do you want to talk a little bit about some of the creators out there that you really enjoy that maybe you want to share with people who maybe aren't getting the same uh, exposure that they, that they deserve? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I have a, I have a couple uh, besides people that are of course already in this panel, you know, <laughs> would definitely recommend everyone in here. Uh, but yeah, let's see the ASMR, the ASMR nerd for sure. Uh, one of the oldest, I would say, kind of like geeky slash gaming YouTubers in the ASMR space. Uh, really, really loves his channel. I would recommend, uh, let's see, ASMR Labs. Even though he has not been posting recently, he does make extremely relaxing ASMR gaming videos. Uh, ASMR Lucky Girl. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of rare, I would say, to to find like a uh, girls in this like uh, ASMR gaming space. So she she's definitely one of the faster growing ones recently. So I would recommend her channel. Uh, and then ASMR Retro is one of my personal favorites, especially for everyone in here that likes retro gaming. Uh, he does a lot of like '80s and '90s games and like. Uh, pop culture content you know so if any of you you know if you're nostalgic for like the older gaming days uh, playstation playstation 2 era definitely check out asmr retro i think he's like super underrated he definitely deserves more love and uh yeah way to make me feel ancient by calling playstation 2 retro yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> sorry to tell you i yeah. got a few comments here oh sorry did you want to did you have any more you wanted to add there uh no that's that's i would say those are like 
my top ones, of course, with everyone else in here. <laughs> yes, yeah, of course, yeah. of course. Yes, and definitely go check out everyone who's in the panel. Go check out their channels for sure. Do that. Just a reminder. Um, we got a couple comments here uh, before we move on to our uh, collect and play and hear your thoughts. Uh, Miss Chloe ASMR, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, Miss Chloe says, ASMR gaming is so much fun. I think even people who don't know ASMR can still enjoy chill playthroughs of games. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, we've got, uh, let's see here, some questions we're going to put on the question list, so we'll skip that there. Uh, Beak358 says, someone I would give a shout out to is Light ASMR. He plays a Clash Royale and has 16.7k subs on YouTube. I admire his determination because he posts daily, which is just crazy. I think AGN can relate to that. Um, <laughs> let's see here. Uh, we've got a couple more. ASMR Labs OG Fortnite videos were so so good totally yeah. agreed um let's see he said uh let's see here some more love for asmr light or light asmr excuse me um and we have another shout out on that bingo card keith if you wanted to just share for 10 seconds how can they access the bingo card guys what how do we get that type exclamation am i quiet again i'm not here. you're quiet again God. what happened yeah. You keep opening Wait, stuff. What's going here. on? What's it's going on? It's probably, if you open an OBS, OBS will mess with your stuff. That's why my he camera's kept phrasing. He's gaming. That's what is it he? is. He's trying to game <laughs> at the same time. We knew it. Busted. Stop playing Minecraft and pay attention. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Can you hear me now? <laughs> yes. There yes. we go. Okay. I think something's uh, wrong with my mixer, actually. It randomly okay. goes in and out. So I'm going to have to figure that out. Oh, um, so anyway, the bingo card. Uh, yes. As um, as Carrick did, type exclamation point bingo in the chat. Um, get the link to it. You can see where progress is. Somebody requested a shout out to... To somebody there. Uh, there, there <laughs> well, he's looking for. <laughs> apparently, right, apparently, apparently that happened, so we're marking it. All right, excellent. Collect and play. Do you want to um, talk about some creators that gaming creators who you enjoy or uh, who haven't been mentioned or? Yeah, yeah. So, um, two of the ch first of all, everybody that's been mentioned, I'm already subscribed to on YouTube, which is so funny because uh, I. That only makes sense, right? I, I'm subscribed to so many channels, it's, I can't even keep up sometimes. So I had to like, as everybody was like, you know, uh, giving their shout outs, I was like, Am I so, like, I just have to look up the channel and and, and rem remember, I'm just, I'm subscribed to so many out there. But um, the two channels that got me, uh, inspired me were ASMR Nerd. Uh, he was one of the ones very early on the Skyrim walkthroughs. Uh, that was kind of where I was like, oh, there's a demand for ASMR and gaming content together. Um, but, you know, it wasn't like the main focus of his channel. And um, the second was the ASMR gamer. Um, yeah. He yeah. is kind of an OG. I, I looked it up. I think he started his channel in 2014. Yeah, 2014. Oh. Uh, both of them uh definitely inspired my channel um and then on top of on top of that anybody with uh anybody with an accent i immediately boom it's like i, I don't know it adds like an extra level to the to the relaxation of things uh i don't know if that's just because i'm american and that's uh, you know me being a stupid american or something but uh technically you know, everybody I, who speaks his accents let's be real yeah true true, true, true. i have a I, um, I have a very soft cali accent yeah um my mom is so, a heavy one yeah uh so on top of asmr gamer there's uh medic asmr which we've already talked about with the um or sorry the asmr medic uh that we've already talked about with uh you know asmr craft uh as Clamar as well uh and midnight whispers is another one that's really 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 underrated uh in my opinion and then there's um we already talked about let's play and ASMR retro, um, but Let's Play, me and Let's Play, have, I think I was like one of Let's Play's first like 50 subs or something like that. I found his channel very early on. I was like, I'm, we're going to be friends now. And uh, yeah, he's he's been very successful. Um, and last would be Jake Baller ASMR. Jake Baller has a, a great like sports side of 
uh, gaming. He does a lot of 2K as well. Um, and he's somebody that I've wanted to collab with for the longest time. But 2K, unfortunately, is one of those games that is not cross-platform yet. And uh, I'm hoping one day that it, they, they make it cross-platform so we can get some content in together because I've been watching him for, for years. And uh, yeah, yeah, no, that's, a, that's pretty much it. Have we also yes. mentioned um, Captain's ASMR as well? I thought I could, should quickly mention Please, Captain's yeah. ASMR because he does, uh, he, he's always been in the ASMR gaming scene. Oh, a, yeah, and, Captain ASMR. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Captain Wasn't ASMR, Captain the right. one that arranged that Among Us yeah. did? Yeah, yes. exactly. So that's yes, why. Yes, yes, yes. He's seen, uh, I, he started another channel and he's absolutely killed it. Uh, it's oh, wow. not an ASMR channel. It's, uh, was, I can't. Uh, I saw that. Is, yeah, I thought yes. that was there before his ASMR channel. Was it or was that was new? It? Gorg. I thought it, Gorg. He plays it. some new game um, and he's absolutely killed. No, he started in November of 2021 and he's already uh, 100, okay. 145,000 subscribers. Yeah. He's Holy killed cow. it. Wow. Yeah, I know. He's nice. killed it uh, with uh, World Box or something. It's like that some new game bell, or yeah. something. Uh, yeah, World I've Box, never even yeah. heard of it. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. We've got a couple more comments here in the chat and we have a comment from Bebe. I do French and English ASMR. Definitely a big hit with everyone. A lot of love for accents here in the chat. So I'm mm -hmm. going to just summarize a bunch of the yeah. comments here. Um, but um, uh, Jamie, I do see your questions. Don't worry. I'm putting them in the, in the question list here. So again, if anyone has questions, we have one more hour here. So please leave your questions in that there are, by the way, there's a big list already. So be patient. Um, but again, leave your questions in the chat. Um, you still have a little bit of time to submit. Um, so that, that said, let's see any other comments here. Uh, we got a bunch of love here. Um, Capt, a lot of love for Captain. He's our Captain speaking soft, says B358. <laughs> Um, let's see. We've got, yep. A lot of captain love. Okay. So we're going to move on to our next question here. Um, and that one is going to be, um, so we share, Oh, fam can actually, you didn't get a chance to share some of your, uh, so I think some of the gaming artists that you're enjoying my friend, um, everybody on this panel, obviously. And, uh, also of course the ASMR nerd, uh, one of the OGs, uh, he was one of the creators that inspired me to start making content. Um, I hang out on streams all the time i'm a mod there now um they're a, they're an absolute blast um he usually spends an hour or two talking with the title of the game in the background before starting to play um so the other the other night i made a joke in the chat uh saying go go to go to an asmr nerd stream uh go to lurk go do all your shopping, come back just in time for the game. And that was kind of a Seinfeld reference because there was an episode where Elaine was house sitting for Jerry. And he's like, if you want to take a shower, turn the water on, do all your shopping, come back and it will be warm. Um, uh Oh, are you muted, Nate? Yep. But I wasn't making a comment that I, <laughs> I was just saying, I just said fantastic. Sorry. I mean, it wasn't necessarily for the public to hear, but yeah, now you heard it. Now you heard it. Yeah. Um, um, but okay. Also, so also uh, oh, God, one yeah. more is uh Jubilee whispers. Um, I, I, I keep going back to her, uh, her power wash simulator videos because <laughs> I yeah. never heard any love that game. Be so excited for a game in an ASMR <laughs> video. And I can see why I picked up power simulator after power wash simulator after watching her videos of it. It's, it's cheap therapy. It's, it, it really is. It I, disclaimer: Don't use that as replacement for therapy. But you get my point. <laughs> <laughs> yep, definitely that disclaimer needs to be made. And um, that all said, um, why don't we move on to another question? And then I think that's my last question. And then I'm going to launch into these audience questions for our last hour. But I just wanted to get, I wanted to make you guys come down on a position um, here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to ask everyone a question, and then I want to. Just ask Dido this question to begin with. Um, Dido, you're really one of the people here is doing like a lot of, like not necessarily video games. Do you want to just talk about just sort of the different kinds of other games out there that you think um, you like to do? Like, because I think it's part of this universe. Um, what, what do you, can you share that with us? Maybe some of the stuff you're doing? Yeah, of course. So, uh, you know, as I started my channel, it was definitely ASMR gaming was like video games was the sort of, um, 
branch I went into where I would do, I would play games such as Minecraft, uh, FIFA, NBA 2K, and lots more, GeoGuessr as well. Um, but as the years has gone over, I've kind of branched out into the other uh, areas of, of ASMR that there is. And, um, you know, I play lots of other like physical games. Uh, I've always been, I'm, I'm such a huge, so I would, I would consider myself as a bit of a maths logic puzzle kind of nerdy person, mainly because, well, I, I, I did a maths degree at uni, uh, but I've always loved, you know, things as such as like, I don't know if you can actually see it in the background, but like solving Rubik's cubes, which I've always thought is kind of therapeutic, trying to get all oh, the yeah. pieces in the right place. Um, you know, like puzzles, like puzzle pieces, like Tetris, like in real life Tetris kind of puzzles. Um, card games like Solitaire, uh, Blackjack. They've always been things that I've I've enjoyed doing just, you know, on my own or when I've not got Jenga as well. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> At the end of Django, would you really call that ASMR? <laughs> I feel that would be um... <laughs> definitely. Oh, has it really? I'll have to go and check them out. <laughs> but that would be That's fantastic. Uh, it would be it would be definitely quite tense trying to trying to get the pieces out. Um, but that would be quite quite funny to watch. Um, Absolutely. And yeah, I've just always enjoyed doing little games like them. So. Yeah. And there are some channels I've seen out there that do like only like no talking, unintentional poker playing and things like that. I've seen some, yeah. some stuff out there similar to the haircut videos. You know, you have some kind of non-traditional ASMR channels popping up. Um, I want to just now, um, we have actually a question from one of our panels that I want to actually bring up here, uh, ASMR Gaming News, and I think wants to just talk about this a little bit, and I think it's important. Um, why don't we just sort of just briefly talk about the history of ASMR Gaming? Because I think, you know, maybe this kind of combines um, what Dido was just talking about as well, um, because I think it was a bit of a process. I mean, Adrian, do you want to kind of lead us off on that question? Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, so basically, if you go back far enough, around 2014 and back, on uh, YouTube, ASMR gaming was like a very, I would say, obscure thing. Uh, you'll find, of course, the ASMR nerd who was, I would say, one of the first and one of the yeah. first ones to actually get big. Shortly after he made his channel, uh, you'll find, you know, the ASMR gamer as well as a soft serenity, which a lot of people, I think, have forgotten about. Oh, Sadly, yeah. she, she makes very relaxing uh asmr gaming videos uh her first let's play from like eight years ago was uh the legend of zelda ocarina of time and so she was like the first i think that ever did an asmr oh, okay. a legend of zelda video so that's kind of like legendary status at least for a nintendo or zelda yes out there. wait yeah. oh my gosh now that you're saying that I, I went back and looked and this is this is the channel that, that i think they uploaded like an entire ocarina of time playthrough and yeah, I, think I, yeah. I think i've watched mm -hmm. it Probably multiple times, to be honest. So, yeah, basically it was like her, ASMR Gamer, the ASMR Nerd. And they mm -hmm. were, I would say, the early ones that were posting. You know, occasionally you would find a channel mm -hmm. which would uh, maybe post like one gaming video or something. But they weren't really gaming channels. So uh, they're definitely, I would say, very, very important in the ASMR gaming scene. But I have a question for the entire panel. Do, can any of you guess when the first asmr gaming video came out on youtube oh, that's a great question you got me, man. <sighs> if i had to guess i'm gonna 2011 yeah i was gonna say yeah, 2011 2010, 2010 or guess. 2011 i would guess it, it's got to be somebody from um, a whispering whispering community probably yeah did yeah i'm thinking i'm thinking maybe somebody did a one-off thing of like yeah the, do we have an probably, answer? Probably AGN. Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, we we it have was, we had. Yeah, it was probably Minecraft. If I had, I'm I'm gonna guess Minecraft, and That's I'm gonna guess, guess I'm gonna guess like maybe Heather Feather did like a Minecraft video once. Does anybody else want to guess the the game that was played? Well, it's actually, hitting it, us with the trivia. That it's, makes it feel a, like it's, it's pretty, not Minecraft. It's a pretty popular yeah. uh, series, I would say. Go. Oh. Mm. Well, Waffle says, Call Duty. Duty. 
<laughs> no way it's Call of Duty. There's no way yeah. it's Call of Duty. I don't think what it can happen in 2010. Is in Half Life. Ooh, uh, that's a good guess. No, but that is a really good guess. Half Life players probably played this game. Counter Strike. Portal. No, no. Oh, Gold, Gold Portal, Eye, Portal or uh, Team Fortress. Yeah, team close, Fortress close. Yeah. But the answer is okay. So the ASM artist is a uh, considered to be an OG in the ASMR scene. So not only are they an OG in the ASMR scene, but also in the ASMR gaming scene. This is Whisper Crystal. Uh, she was an early ASMR YouTuber back in 2010. She uploaded the first ASMR gaming video for Fallout New Vegas. Oh my and God. I'll share, oh, wow. I'll share the link. I'll share the link yeah. right here. In oh the my chat. gosh, 11 years ago. And she's the first one. I've done so much research wow. on this, and that's the farthest I could go back and find something. So, oh wow, there it is. Unless, let's go ahead and share this in the chat here too. I think oh, this is yeah, worth yeah. Uh, worth a pop right there. There it is for everyone who uh, wants to see the first gaming ASMR video. At least as far as AGN can find, I think that's probably it. Yeah, not the first. Got to be one of the first. Yeah, um, unless so unless there's a video out. of some guy in twenty, I don't know, two thousand and seven that was playing Super Mario at night whispering. Uh, this is the first intentionally <laughs> labeled awesome. as ASMR. I yeah. did that a lot wow. off camera back in the day, so I could have been the first. <laughs> wow, wow, that's so cool. That's really cool. Thank yeah. you so much for sharing that with us. Wow, that is uh, a piece of history, everyone. So go check that out. Absolutely. Um, that's amazing. So I think I think I want to just quickly now because. We're running actually now we're tight on time i realize with all yeah, these questions that have come in questions so here we go um why don't we just get into the fan questions and i think my last question was going to be about which game is best for asmr but i think these questions will kind of ask that um so we have someone that's specifically from uh oscar once oh before i say that please leave your questions in the chat i've said it a million times but if you do have any, this is kind of getting close to the last call here. Otherwise, you probably won't have time to get your questions asked. So make sure you leave them in the uh, Twitch chat if you have questions for any of our panelists. Um, let's start here. This is going to be a quick answer probably. <laughs> um, ASMR Gaming News, are you planning to do a face reveal? Asks Oscarek1799. <laughs> so this is this is an interesting question because I still get <laughs> comments like these. So... Yeah. I promised a face reveal a, a long, long, long time ago on the channel. And when I reached, uh, I think, uh, I forget if it was 100,000 subscribers, but I did do a face reveal. I did I it think on it was Instagram. I think it was 100,000. Yeah. I think yeah. it was 100,000. I I, I'm curious reveal. to hear your answer about this because I I laugh every time I see that. Uh, <laughs> me too, me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I posted a photo on Instagram. And since then, I have posted another photo on there, and I have posted a video on the channel, which was uh, uh, live for about two years until it was uh, eventually privated. But yes, I have shown my face. Uh, most uh, subscribers have seen it, and uh, I, I might do something in the future very, very soon. That it's not a real face reveal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can't so, confirm or deny. I mean, maybe it is, maybe it isn't, you know. So, <laughs> did, so the maybe the maybe I should names. post maybe I should post another uh, Instagram face reveal today. How about that? The big the big there you go there we go. Do it. The big conspiracy is that AGN is actually ASM the ASMR Ryan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's right. And, and I'd be. like to, I'd like to double up on that post. Uh, double up on that by saying no, I am not ASMR Labs. I've gotten that a couple of times. <laughs> a lot of people have asked because the ASMR Labs has never done a face reveal. Um and. No, I was in I was in uh, Ryan's TikTok live stream not too long ago, and I saw somebody was like, "Are you AGN or something like that?" And I started dying <laughs> laughing because I was, I see these comments all the time. It's so funny. Uh, yeah, all because the, all because of that video that you posted a long time ago. Yeah, Ryan, which is great. Ryan and me have collabed like twice yeah. because yeah. of that for the memes. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. I love it. I've actually right, gotten comments. Next... Sorry, uh, I've actually gotten no, comments go before asking if I was AGN's second account, <laughs> like YouTube account. I was like, no, <laughs> I don't think we sound. It's the same so at all. crazy. It's so crazy yeah. hearing where people get these like, uh, like I don't. I me that. and Labs have literally collabed before. Me and him used to do Fortnite live streams together at the same time. So like for people to say that, uh, like in a Discord call and everything, like we would we were giving call outs to each other. Um, it, 
so yeah. for people to think that I that I'm labs or for you to be Ryan or anything, all these weird conspiracies. There's it's yeah. so funny. It's I get so I funny. get random the comparisons internet. to other YouTubers sometimes that aren't uh-huh. even in the ASMR space. Like we're like, hey, are you a typical gamer? Or I think you sound just <laughs> like him or something. Are I'm you like, Anthony what? Padilla? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. I love that. I love that. Yeah. All right, so let's move on to the next question here. That is, I love that. Um, Beak358 is asking us, let's start with uh, Hoshi, because we haven't started with you yet. Um, do you sometimes listen to your own video, or does that feel like a weird or absorbed thing to do? I, I've i done it. Okay, so I've done it a few times, just because I was like, oh, I'm curious if I could, like, you know, get relaxed to my own videos. And the answer is I cannot. <laughs> Like it just, it gets really weird listening to yourself. So, and I don't think it's like, if you do do that and you enjoy your own videos, I don't think it's that bad. Like, that's why we make videos. Sometimes we see, we're like, hey, maybe I need to make a video that I would enjoy. And that's how I usually get started with my videos. Pretty much see what I enjoy and try to make it. Awesome. Uh, Collect and play, what about you? Uh, I do not listen to my own videos. No, almost to a fault of uh, <laughs> sometimes I'll accidentally leave in a uh, maybe like a, a cut or like, a you know, like a, where I had to clear my throat. And um, it's because I missed it in, in editing to the point where it because that's how much I don't like watching my own videos. But no, I, I definitely don't. I mean, I'm no hate on anybody that does, but I'm, it's just something about hearing my voice on on played back. I just don't like it. I've just now started to get used to uh, like monitoring on microphones. I used to not use any mic monitoring at all um, just because I didn't like hearing myself. But then uh, I, I tend to get a little bit too loud sometimes when I'm not doing ASMR. Um, so now I'm like, uh, I should probably turn that on and just get used to it. So I'm not screaming. You know, you have that headphone effect where you you have loud sounds going into your headphones trying to play games and Sometimes you just get a little bit too loud. So I decided to get used to the, get used to the mic monitoring, but no, no, I don't watch my own videos. Dido, what about you? Do you ever listen to your own stuff? I think uh, it's it's a question almost every ASM artist gets asked if you've watched your own videos to fall asleep or to relax to. And for me, when (laughs) literally, yeah, when, whenever I watch my own videos back, it will be usually instead of me trying to listen to the the sounds it i'm usually trying to find things that are are wrong with it or things that i need to fix to to Mm -hmm. make the videos better and in fact i actually used to i used to never really watch my videos back because i kind of remembered from recording if there's a bit i need to crop out but now i i watch them back a lot more to do so because there was one time in a video i remember i i was moving my keyboard or i was setting my keyboard up and it was like mid video or something. And I like stood up from my setup and went out to the back of the room to get it, brought it back in and plugged it in and everything and sat right down and was like, all right, let's do this. And then kept on going. And because it was all so quiet, people were like, did he mean to leave this in? Is this part of the video? And then I was like, oh, I, I got to crop that out. I, I got to watch my videos more often. So did you ever fix that i think i remember that i think i remember <laughs> that thank god for the youtube video editor yeah, yeah, the editor. Oh, yeah. Yes. yeah yeah it was about two days after as well when mm-hmm. people pointed that out and i was i was so embarrassed <laughs> yeah uh, that's great no uh, what I've, about I've you had full, oh. i've had full okay. blown where i'm like clearing my throat like <clears throat> like just straight into the microphone not muting the microphone where it's been <laughs> left in i'm like yeah that was an accident guys that was an accident yeah i've had a couple instances where i like Try that again, and it was left in the video during mm-hmm. a premiere. It's mm-hmm. ugh. <laughs> you, have, you have to watch it live as well. <laughs> yeah, it is mortifying. Uh, that's great, AGN. What about you? Do you ever listen to your own videos? Yeah, so I'm kind of paranoid. At least when I first started my channel, I was paranoid about leaving like loud sounds in or. Maybe there was someone like speeding outside the window and I would get picked up. So <laughs> when I would edit afterwards, I would always like try to rewatch the entire thing. So 20 minutes recording, 20 minutes like editing, then like 20 minutes rewatching the edited video to make sure everything was fine. But after a few years of doing that, I stopped it. And 
occasionally I will listen to my ASMR videos and actually get relaxed to them. Uh, they're usually the ones where I'm not speaking, where it's just like controller sounds or like uh, trigger words possibly or things like that. So uh, it's rare. I have I have this thing where if somebody starts playing my video to me, I usually get like very uncomfortable. So I'll be like, oh, no, like I hate hearing my own voice oh, being played back to me. But if I have my headphones in and I'm listening to it, it's usually OK. <laughs> so, yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Fam Cam, what about you? Uh, so I'm kind of off and on with listening to my own stuff. I have no issue hearing my own voice because for most of my life, I've been making home videos and showing to my family and friends and watching it with them. So I got used to it. I've been I've been uh, I started out at 10 years old making claymation videos and, and uh, doing voices over them. So uh, so I, I've had two. I had 25 years of experience with that. Um, some people on the panel weren't even born yet. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, I, yeah, looking at, looking at you, Dido, <laughs> uh, but, um, lost my train of thought, uh, still lost my watching train Watching your own videos? <laughs> watching yeah. your own videos? Yes. So usually when I'm doing that, it's when I want to, uh, see how I'm progressing. Um, sometimes once in a blue moon, I will go to sleep, uh, to my own videos to see firsthand how well they actually work because I want to give the best experience that I possibly can. And how am I going to know if I am, if I'm not putting myself in the perspective of the audience? Absolutely. Absolutely. That was actually okay, really we... interesting to hear. Oh. Cause I, I, I've never actually heard of an ASM artist that would actually test their own videos to see if it's, it's relaxing. And I guess that that would make sense. That was really cool to hear. A lot of Twitch streamers, he's a Twitch guy. They, they you know, they're that's because they're doing it live. They have to listen to it. You do see a lot yeah. of that, um, the self monitoring going on there. Um, okay, so we got our next question here, and that is from Goose. Uh, Goose asks, or I think it's just call me Goose, just call Goose. Um, <laughs> Goose is saying, um, how does the ASMR community differ? How is the ASMR gaming community differ from the overall ASMR community? Gaming News, do you want to start us off on this one? Yeah, I would say that since we are a smaller community, we're definitely like more, I would say, friendly, more inviting, possibly. Not to say that other ASM artists aren't, aren't friendly, but I think because it's such a small community, a lot of people know each other, a lot of people collab with each other. So there's definitely like a, a sense of like, um, I would say, like, just like a really chill and happy vibe that hasn't necessarily been super corrupted i would say by youtube's algorithm and pushing like toxicity because let's face it the gaming yeah. space has a lot of uh, uh <laughs> not so good things going on with it especially with mm -hmm. like competitive games like overwatch mm -hmm. call of duty yep. fortnite yeah <laughs> yeah so that that's one of the reasons why i actually like the asmr community uh, i kind of get a little bit tired i would say sometimes of like toxic streamers or YouTubers in the Fortnite or, uh, you know, Overwatch community that I wanted a place that's like more friendly, happy. And that's what I find in my subscribers, actually. Like when I first created my channel and I started playing with subscribers, you know, I had like 100, 200 subscribers and I would ask, you know, hey, anybody, anybody want to play some games with me? And I would always get, you know, a couple people happy just to jump on and play some games. And they were honestly some of the I would say more friendlier video game online experiment uh, experiences that I had at that time. So it's kind of what kept me going. And I would say that is exactly how I view the ASMR gaming community on YouTube right now. It's like pretty, pretty chill, very open, friendly, and very nice place to be. I think. Agreed. What about you, Dido? What do you think about the, uh, how does the gaming ASMR community differ uh, from the overall ASMR community? I would I would just keep my answer short and sweet and say you know we're we're niche we're we're unique because you know if I was to go up to someone if I was to go up to like I mean maybe not someone in my family because I've told them too much about it but if I was to go up to someone that knows what ASMR is and said what is ASMR they would probably define it as just sounds that help you relax but then if I was to say to them you know there's a whole segment of people playing games um and doing asmr they would probably be like 
okay, I didn't know that that was a thing. So just the fact that we're unique, you know, we're playing all sorts of different games whilst controller sounds, keyboard sounds, mouse clicking and whispering and all, all at the same time. I think that's what kind of separates us from everyone else. Not to say that, you know, all that stuff without the gaming isn't good. It's just more unique because we're playing a game at the same time. Absolutely. Yeah, the ASMR medic agree. says, oh, go ahead, go ahead. No, no, I definitely says. agree with what you said. Cool. Uh, the ASMR medic here says, to me, ASMR gaming is special because you can find such a toxic list environment to play games. <laughs> yeah, you've, got sure. to try, yes. you've got to try and be relaxing at the same time as playing yes. Call of Duty or chill. FIFA. That is hard. Yeah. That is hard. There you go, little <laughs> said it. That's probably the hardest part is when you're trying to keep your composure. You're like, ah! mm. <laughs> Hi there, um, have a nice day. And we're relaxing. We're not punching That's the screen. The, that is the most <laughs> common comment that I get. It's like, how, how does he keep his cool while while playing <laughs> Warzone or while playing Fortnite? It's like, uh, you get used something. to it. You they get... don't know what's going on <laughs> yeah. inside. They don't know what's happening in your brain. Yeah. It ain't the same inside. Um, okay, so yeah, collect and play. Do you want to tell us... Um, kind of how it might differ in your opinion of the, the gaming community from the overall ASMR community? Um, so I, for me, there's, uh, in my opinion, there, there's not too many differences. What I will say is kind of piggybacking on what Medic said in chat. It's like, I do not envy some of my, you know, um, gaming creators that I'm now friends with, where with how toxic some some of the comments are and just, how overall just like dog eat dog world the like gaming side is uh i'm not speaking on asmr i'm speaking of just strictly gaming and so um asmr gaming versus asmr community i don't see too big of a difference of the asmr gaming versus the gaming gaming community is night and day i i'm yeah. i'm so glad that i have a community of of people that I, I would like to think are like, like-minded uh, such as myself of just polite people that just are there to have fun and, and um, not be toxic. And, and like, yes, everybody has, you know, toxic moments of, you know, nobody's perfect, but um, definitely it's just it, reading comments on, on, on some of my friends posts. Um, it's, it's tiresome. It's really tiresome. It's, it's, it's bad some of the things that, that I that I read um because I read it I read all the comments if I watch if I watch a TikTok or a short or or even a video that I like nine times out of ten nine times out of ten I'm reading the comments just to see what other people say and it's yeah. it's like um a lot of the times the most liked comment on a on a gaming post will be you know either something that's wrong with the video or like something that's you know uh you know like putting the person down whereas uh, 10 times out of 10 in an ASMR gaming uh, video, um, the top comment is something positive, which is 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 very good for, um, you know, creators in our space is like sanity, I guess you would say. Because I, I can definitely see where people can kind of maybe get in a bad mental state from, um, you know, kind of, you know, you have to have thick skin. They always say you have to have, a, yeah. you have to have thick skin as a content creator. And, uh, it's you don't have to have as thick a skin in the ASMR gaming community as you would maybe the regular gaming community. So, mm. and, and that's a, that's kind of a, a, a testament to to the people in the community as you know as viewers as well. So, yeah, that's what I'd say. Awesome. I want to get to the last two people here. I just want to read a few little comments here. Uh, Oscar Eck is saying AGN does a silent scream. Um, also, Little Waffles on TV is saying, whenever I watch ASMR gaming and fall asleep, my earbuds end up across the room when I wake up. <laughs> it all relates to that one. That's, that's so true. Yeah. Oh, that is so wrapped good. around that's my so neck. Good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> awesome. Uh, the ASMR medic is saying, when I'm playing a generally toxic game for a video, I literally sit down and say, okay, you don't care if you win, it's for a video. Then I proceed, but it seldom works. Yeah. yeah. Um, little Waffles on TV says, when the little kid starts cursing at you, uh, <laughs> you're like, oh, you little snot. 
Mm, hey. <laughs> All right. So let's go on to the next uh, question here. Okay. I want to say this last thing. We are like at the, I, we have 30 minutes left. We have so many questions. I'm going to just say, I'm going to have to start cutting a few out, but if you do have a last question, this is the chance you get. You have two, two minutes or so for your last question questions so please put them in the comments i may not be able to get to all of them i said i, I probably have to skip a couple here but just giving you a last chance please put them in the comments for our panelists and now let's move on to uh here's a little bit of a hiss there i think it might be you Keith. that yeah i'm still having my okay. problems Okay, no problem. Um, if you want to just mute, uh, yep, there we go. <laughs> yeah. So, all right, next question. You say no here. problem to me having problems. That's kind of ironic. <laughs> well, yeah, that is a bit of ironic. Um, so, okay, here we go. We've got another one. Okay, this is a good one. ASMR medic, do you have an unintentional ASMR gaming? I, I guess you wouldn't call them ASMR, but an unintentional ASMR gaming content creator you go to. Um, oh, actually. I'm sorry, I skipped fan, but Hoshi, you didn't get a chance to answer the last question. Do you want to talk just a little bit about the ASMR gaming community versus the regular community? My apologies oh, there. No, you're fine. I just, I agree with mostly everybody. Like the only difference I see between like normal ASMR and gaming is that we have like an unlimited amount of content we could make. Because mm -hmm. we have so many games that we can make. And I feel bad for them because they a lot of times have to plan out their like, their role plays, their like, what they're going to be doing, what they're going to talk about. And we just could go into any game we want and talk about the game. It's pretty mm -hmm. simple. Um, Famcam, I'm going to skip you on the remainder of this because we have so many other questions. And, you know, you and I no get problem. a chance to the whole con, and these gentlemen here are not going to get another <laughs> chance exactly. to chat with everybody here. Um, but, okay, so let's go to the next one. Like I said, is there an unintentional ASMR gaming content creator that you go to? Um, ASMR Collect and Play, do you want to start us off? Unintentional ASMR content creator that I go to. Um, is it like gaming or just in general? I think they're saying mm -hmm. like a content creator you go to when you get ASMR from them, but they do gaming, but not necessarily... They're not necessarily what, ASMR. Specific. You, did you mention you mentioned something? I, I've I've looked up in the past, uh, like a, like a poker ASMR, and yeah. a lot of, a lot of yeah. the times because those those settings can it, you know like the online casinos can be pretty relaxing yes. as long as there's you oh, know yeah. not a lot of stuff going on in the background. Usually the dealers have very nice calming voices. Yeah. Uh, so that's that would be one. Um, two would be maybe maybe massage ASMR. Um, I don't know if he like he, I I would classify him more of unintentional than intentional sometimes. Yes. Um, yeah, yeah. In the beginning, especially he was for doing sure a lot of those. for sure. Which is which, truth be told, is probably um, which is when I started watching this channel was in the beginning. So that's probably why I I see him as an unintentional kind of guy. Um, but yeah, that that would be my that that would be my two. I I have, I don't know. Is there am I am I like missing part of the community of like is there like this massive unintentional community that I just don't know about? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll well, have to there, do some research. There is that. a huge. There is a. I will say this: if you have Tingle Immunity, pure unintentional ASMR, I think is one channel. Best unintentional ASMR. It's like a real thing. I am mm -hmm. huge on it right now. Okay. Personally, because it's. It's so natural. It's it, it feels good. It's not gaming specific usually, although those videos do exist. But it mm -hmm. is can be a salon role play or like someone talking about some subject yeah. that they no, are interested I, in. I do. I, I I like going to the doctor um, just because of like the personal attention aspect of it. They ask you all these questions. Oh, yeah. Usually, it's oh, yeah. you know in a you know. Um, especially if they're you know like an older doctor because they just naturally you know in uh, you know an older age have maybe m more of like a soft speaking uh or, or softer voice than somebody that's you know younger um uh yeah yeah no that's that's definitely that, those would be my two though okay what about you hoshi do you have any unintentional asmr gaming creator or otherwise uh, that you go to yeah actually i on Twitch, there's usually the speed run like uh, that they do for charity. I forget what it was called. And a lot of times they're just like explaining what they're doing while doing the speed run. And then there's people watching them in the background. I don't know if you guys have seen those, like they're retro game speed runs and it's for charity. And they're pretty like quiet and they're just explaining what they're doing. And you just hear the clicking sounds and it's super unintentional. And I just, 
I love those. Those are just so relaxing to watch. But that's about it that uh, I could think of. What about you, Keith? Our fam cam ASMR. What do you? Um, yeah, any unintentional? Um, yeah, yeah. As far as unintentional gaming ASMR, I don't really have one. But I think the closest I can th think of to that is Game Grumps because sometimes, uh, every once in a while, they'll speak softly. They're very well uh, well aware of ASMR and are fans of ASMR and sometimes do ASMR intentionally in their videos. But then there are other times where occasionally they'll soft speak for a bit, not. Uh, necessarily um, focused on the concept of ASMR. So I'm going to go with Game Grumps. Cool. Um, what about you, Dido? Uh, so I was going to say, for, so for in terms of like non ASMR YouTubers that do kind of gaming that I kind of find very relaxing would be, um, so the first one, I'm, I'm a big fan of chess. Uh, which, by the way, yes. I want to say a huge shout out to ASMR, ASMR Chess, chess. Yes. as well. Yes. We um, love him, yes. And there's a chess YouTuber called Eric Rosen, who is uh, very well known in the chess community as as a master. And I find he's got a very soothing voice. Um, I also like to watch a lot of GeoGuessr non-ASMR. Mm -hmm. And there's someone I discovered quite recently called ZigZag, and he's Australian, and I think he's got a really nice voice. And the last one I wanted to mention, which actually isn't gaming, and I only recently discovered his channel, um, he does reviews of random products called, and his channel's called Check It Out. Oh, I he's love got, him. He's, he's so good. A, yeah, he's so good. I he I he would he reviews like literally random things from like stationery to like phones, Lego, and I think what's what's really good about him is I I learned that he's he actually donates all of these things to charity and and schools and things. So I think he's he's an amazing guy and and he's got such a nice voice. Absolutely. His compilations are amazing also. Yeah. He like combines all the reviews in a row and it's like... Because the videos are about amazing. one minute long. So when he has yeah, a compilation, yeah. they're like oh, 30 perfect. minutes long and, and they're great. So good. Absolutely. Uh, AGN, do you want to tell us if you've got any um, unintentional ASM artists while I change my um, headphones, which are dying <laughs> from yeah, batteries? Yeah. Uh, thank yeah. you. Thank you. All right. Well, okay. Yeah. Uh, for unintentional ASMR, I would say... I pretty much like find some YouTubers that just do like regular reviews of like tech products or do like unboxing videos. Like some of those guys are like very, very relaxing. So, you know, it's unintentional, but they're opening packages. They're reviewing, I don't know, flat screen TV or something. And sometimes they're actually really, really chill, relaxing. They have like very like, uh, I would say like soothing voices. Like they're not trying to scream at you through the, you know, screen. So yeah, some of those are pretty, pretty good channels. I don't have any in particular, but I have found unintentional ASMR and some tutorial channels and review slash unboxing channels on YouTube. Still changing his uh, headphones. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll piggyback off that. Um, a, a, a lot of the times, I guess, unintentional, um, a lot of my favorite games are strategy games, um, which is which is very uh, shocking to some because it's not at all what I make my content off. Yeah, of. Yeah, same think, same here. Like yeah. my favorite games are like JRPGs, like Final Fantasy mm -hmm. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And it's completely different than what I yeah, normally play. On the exactly, channel. exactly. Yeah. There's a lot of there's probably everybody probably has something that they play offline that they. Um, that they just never make content out of, and it's probably for good reason but um i i genuinely like uh who is it there's this guy i think his name is quill quill 18 uh he does like a ton of different um strategy games and just like watching strategy games in general like like civ games and also civ yes. civ yeah civ yeah. uh that's that's asmr uh asmr nerd territory right there i think he did some civ way back in the day um i even and... made a meme of uh swapping his face with the moon and the tide oh my god <laughs> oh my god yeah no that and uh rim world and uh is another game that i absolutely love and um 
uh just just like watching those games while playing them same kind of goes with minecraft as well like just i think that's kind of the overall thing of like i and and i've seen those comments all the time and while i'm live it's like i'm watching this i'm watching this while i also play and it's like i that's personally what i love i love doing that myself is like if, yeah. if somebody's live or you know if if anybody uploads a Minecraft video and I'm on Minecraft, I'll throw it on my, you know, my second monitor and and listen to it while I play. And it's it's honestly one of the most um, relaxing feelings in the world. It's it's it kind of brings the fun back, doubling all the way back to the beginning of of uh, the our our session here. Is it kind of brings the the fun back to to gaming when you just kind of sit back and relax, like 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 how it used to be. Like how it used to be when we were growing up, and uh, not so much focused on, you know, being the best at everything. It's just that's just how it is. It's just more relaxing that way. Absolutely. Um, okay, so I want to jump into um, a next question here, and this is from a member of our panel. Um, I, but I think this possibly could be the most important question of this entire stream here. So I think we must ask it. And um, the question is, what's one piece of advice for a new ASMR gaming creator? Um, AGN, since you brought it up, did you want to maybe touch on this? Yeah. Uh, I often get questions from like new people or people that want to start out in the ASMR gaming community. And, you know, the, I have to say like the, the most important thing besides, of course, you know, pushing yourself to create your channel and push out that first video is playing something that you absolutely love. And I think that's the most important thing. A lot of, I see a lot of like creators get burnt out. They, they have like great voices, good content, amazing thumbnails. They're posting consistently, you know, every few days, but they just stop. And it's usually because they get burnt out because they feel forced into playing, you know, whatever the hottest new game is, even if they hate it, even if they're terrible at it and they don't like it, they kind of force themselves. And I want to tell people out there, like, you don't have to do that. A, a lot of, I would say people that I've seen in this community, they play games that they really, really like. Like Hoshi, you know, he plays Genshin Impact, uh, Light ASMR, which was mentioned earlier. He plays Clash Royale. Uh, you got people out here playing Overwatch, uh, Call of Duty, Valorant. And a lot of these creators that consistently just, you know, play the games that they really, really like, I, I feel like their subscribers can kind of tell that they're enjoying the game. Uh, and because they like playing it it's almost like not even a chore to create content like if you hate apex legends and you're forced to play apex legends you're gonna have a terrible time you know so my number one piece of advice for anyone looking to jump into the asmr gaming community is have at least one game that you really really love and focus on that game like make videos every day every week you know, if you love Overwatch, Minecraft, make those videos because you'll never get tired of making videos for a game you like. So that's my piece of advice. And just a real quick, thank you for the hype train, everyone who's been donating bits. We really appreciate that. Let's go. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, all right, let's move on to Hoshi. What about you? Do you have any advice for new ASMR gaming creators? Oh, man, I, I guess the biggest advice I would say is when you're starting off, try to like do daily uploads it, it may be tough but like that really helped me a lot to be able to get super into it and that's when I started seeing like the channel really pop off it's when I was doing my daily content and then from there on like work got busy so I do I would do like one or two videos a week and people still appreciated it and I think that's probably what really helped me out is getting you know the daily content going and it's not very hard when you're just playing a game you enjoy. You just press record. And, yeah, yeah. And you're into it. You look forward to it. And it's honestly, it's yeah. yeah, exactly. What about you, Dido? Do you have any advice for uh, up and came up or a new ASMR gaming creator? Um, I think you know it goes pretty much without saying for every YouTuber, not just ASM artist or ASMR gaming channel the key is just patience you know you're not it's very rare that overnight or over a week you're gonna instantly blow up and become this big channel that's very well known in the community you've got to just stick at it be patient um and and let 
you know, the views come to you rather than you sit there trying to get people to come to your channel. Um, and also it's very important as kind of what uh, AGN said, do what you want to do, you know, pick a game that you enjoy. Um, although it's good to do what, you know, the viewers like doing, but if you don't do what you like doing, so if you play a game that you don't necessarily enjoy anymore, you know, you're, you're going to get burnt out and you're going to want to stop and that's when everything falls apart and um, I've, I've been in that situation before so that's why I can say you know just do what you enjoy and and be patient collect and play what about you do you have any advice for new <sighs> ASMR gaming creators yes I would say just start um literally just start uh i started back in 2016 i had no idea what i was doing i didn't know how to make a thumbnail i didn't know anything about audio i didn't know anything about video literally i i just pulled it up i if you go to my first video it's not even in it's not even in like 1080 like format it's in it's in like a square form 480p is what i uploaded my <laughs> first video in like i i didn't know what i was doing i recorded it on the webcam of my built-in my built-in webcam of my college laptop that was probably 10 years old now um so i knew nothing about what i was doing and um and, and it was just kind of trial and error uh hoshi i went i i just brought you up um and went back to your the beginning of your channel um and like everything is so clean everything looks so good <laughs> and it, it's like you knew what you were doing when you started I didn't know what I was doing when I started. Um, and uh, I feel like if you're afraid of like not trying, then then it's never going to happen. You know, you, you got to you get, just got to start. You got to start somewhere. I did. I still I'm still learning to this day, uh, like, you know, how to make better thumbnails or, you know, how to how to use photoshop or like a new editing tool and and i'm still learning and i'm six years in so i wish i had it i wish i had started 10 years ago instead of six years ago and maybe i'd be a little bit farther ahead of the game than i am now um but you gotta everybody's gotta start somewhere and and so my number one my number one tip to new channels is start uh, okay, so, sorry. Advice. Sorry, I'm gonna interrupt right here real quick, but I honestly had no clue what I was doing. To be honest, <laughs> what I was doing. Yeah, was... you had a better clue of what I was doing. You I had a better clue of what I was just doing. Copying what Luminin would do on his channel, and I was like, if it works for him, it worked for me. Mm -hmm. I had a template pretty much right there with uh, yeah. Luminin's channel. <laughs> so yeah, pretty much see, I made I made my thumbnails in Paint, so uh, I didn't know what I was doing whatsoever. So. <laughs> So, that that um, that's in, that's impressive. I'm the, I'm impressed with that. Respect. What, what <laughs> you're making? You no, know, it was literally. I would I would just grab a screenshot from Google Images. I'd throw it in there. I'd use like the base text. Of, it it looks. I should. Truth be told, I should probably just private some of these videos because they look so bad. <laughs> they no. look so bad. But I've just no. Left never them delete there the whole vides. Time. I've I I've don't left delete them there the videos. Yeah, I know. You. I always it's a good sign like, of how far you've come. That you know? and also like I I think. Uh, the one that comes to mind most recently is like Tim the Tab Man. He had a he had like one of his videos go like get re pushed into the algorithm. It was like ten years old, where he had like long hair, like in some like different <laughs> setup, and was like doing this weird like <laughs> vocal, like weird like almost character voice, and it was like he was just like being like over the top about everything that he was doing, which is like not the Tim the Tab Man that you would see today. Um, but it, you know, you never know what happens with the with the YouTube algorithm. You, you know, my I always go back to video that old get Mr. Beast like that. The Mr. Beast first video, it's like mm -hmm. uh, you can go see because like, he's such a legend. Yeah, you can just see he had like a sh bad webcam. It was like yeah. dark. His delivery was terrible. Like mm -hmm. it's kind of like a good reminder. Like yeah, yeah, this is a, a marathon, not a sprint. That's ten, for sure. ten years. I just went and looked ten years ago. Worst wow. Minecraft salt trap ever. I don't even think it has a webcam. It, he didn't even make a thumbnail for it. <laughs> Which I, I mean, that. no, I no hate, no hate, but it's just yeah. like it's it, it's not the professional like Mr. Beast that you would think or and know of today. Um, Fantastic. Not that you can't be successful without making thumbnails. You know, it's it happens all the time. 
Fantastic. Thank oh, you welcome. Uh, thank you all for the screen. That was Yeah, amazing. wow, that was incredible. That we was incredible. We just hit bingo twice in a row. Wow. So, wow. As promised, I'm going to eat something spicy because we uh, hit bingo. <laughs> but before I do that, I want to give my answer to the question real quick. Mine is yes, specific. please. Mine's specific to Twitch. Um, pick a game that isn't like overly popular uh like like fortnite or, or call of duty or, or something like that where everybody and their mother is streaming it because you will be buried uh under everybody else because twitch cares a lot more about profit than it does helping creators so they're yeah. going to show all the bigger creators because they're the ones that are it's going to make it uh, a lot more money and put you at the bottom and nobody's going to scroll down that far. And also don't play a game that nobody's going to watch. Find the find a gamer category that is in between and by the way ASMR fits in that ca category. It's it's a very much a popular uh category, but it isn't overly inflated. So it's a good way to get discovered. But yeah, either ASMR or find a game that is going to be in that middle ground and people are much more likely to find you. Absolutely. So we only have live. We have very limited time here. I think. I think we can. Can you guys do five minutes over? Maybe f just fifteen more minutes. Oh, here, guys? That's, Is that okay? that's perfectly fine. Oh. Um, I'm. I'm gonna be right back. Continue the panel, but I'm gonna get the uh, spicy food uh, for your enjoyment. <laughs> cool. Awesome. Awesome. All right. So let's move on because we have again a million questions. So I'm sorry if I didn't get to your question here, everybody. Um, but I kind of think this is an important one here. Um, so why don't we start with collect and play on this one? Um, what are some games that are unreleased that you're looking forward to playing? Ooh. Oh, I uh, I love it. I love this yeah, question it's a big so one. much. It's a big one. I love this question so much. Um, I think um, just to to go into, um, you know, kind of related to my content now, uh, Modern Warfare 2 obviously is coming out soon, which is, um, I've always been, Call of Duty has always been like my kind of go-to game uh, for the longest time. It's definitely the game that I'm best at. Therefore, it's kind of the game that I sometimes feel like playing because I, the competitive side of me, it's, it's, it's a it's a internal battle that I have every single day of like trying to figure out an identity of of, of uh you know what I want to be as far as a content creator goes. Um, but no, Modern Warfare Two is coming out soon. I think I'm gonna actually probably do a 24 hour stream for that. Uh, when the when the multiplayer comes out, nice. um, awesome. I think that's that's gonna be that's gonna be my. I've done one 24 hour, but actually I've done two 24 hour streams before. Uh, one before I was even collect and play, and one um. Oh, uh, what was it for like 25,000 subs or something like that? And uh, no, it was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun doing it. And it's, I, it, a lot of people think that that's hard. I, I, I don't think it's hard. I thought, I thought it was pretty, pretty easy to be honest. Um, you just got to prepare for it. Uh, other than that, um, 2K23 is coming out soon. 2K was a big thing on my channel for a long time. I uh, can't wait to play that again. Uh, but as far as new things that I have not played, um, I bought the PlayStation for PlayStation exclusives. I haven't had the PlayStation um, for, I think I bought it like six months ago, four, four or five months ago. I haven't even really hardly used it for the channel yet. So God of War Ragnarok's coming out soon. I plan on using it for that. Um, the new Spider-Man game will be coming out around the corner at some point, uh, which I have not played any of the Spider-Man uh, uh most recent one that they came out or the miles morales one that they came out with i'm debating whether or not i want to play the the remake on pc uh and then um the harry potter game harry potter game i i know that's going to be probably something that kind of goes hand in hand with asmr just because of the open world as any open world game is going to be um it, you you can find a way to play it passively uh and and kind of um mix in with that with that asmr side of 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 games so um yeah i don't leave anything off starcraft or no starfield starfield, starfield. Bethesda, bethesda's new game coming soon bethesda is my all-time favorite uh game company uh with fallout and skyrim and uh, all the elder scrolls um yeah yeah i can't think you guys you guys will probably find one that i missed but for sure I'm, dido I'm what excited. about you what's some games you're looking forward to playing so growing up, probably my, I would say my big three games, which kind of come out about this time of the year, would be 
three that are about to come out. And so I'm very looking forward to, um, as CNP said, uh, NBA 2K23. Absolutely love that. So, um, so I'm excited for that to come out. Uh, FIFA 23, although I don't play that as competitively as I used to when I was younger, is very toxic. Um, yes. And plenty of controllers broken from that and that will not happen anymore and um yeah again when i was young my one of my favorite probably my favorite game of all time was call of duty modern warfare 2 uh, played that with my brother and my cousins for hours and we wouldn't even play online sometimes we would just play split screen we got prestige on split screen uh we were we were that indulged in it uh, so I'm very excited for that to come out and and see what's what's going to be in store for that. So that's probably what Fantastic. I'm most excited for. This poster right here this is a Modern Warfare Three poster. I know it's like a Time Magazine thing, but it was like a it was uh, came out with Modern Warfare Three way back in nice. the day. Um, and now, oh, yeah, I'm I'm excited for that. I'm excited, for you. that's awesome. Dido, we'll have to play some on uh, definitely on multiplayer launch night. Hoshi ASMR, what about you? Do you have anything you're looking forward to? Like it was mentioned, Starfield. I am super excited for that. I'm a huge Bethesda fan. Uh, with like New Vegas was like my favorite game they ever made. And then now Starfield's coming out. I've heard a lot of hate for it, but like I think I want to wait to play it before judging it. And it looks right up my alley. Like it looks amazing. And then there's also uh from the makers of Genshin Impact, and they're making a game called Star Rail. I'm really looking for that game too. It should be coming out soon, hopefully. <laughs> but those are like the main two games that are just on my top of the list. Fantastic. Uh, ASMR Gaming News, what about you? Yeah, I, <laughs> I have a lot of games that I'm looking forward to. So, <laughs> uh, Overwatch 2, uh, Splatoon 3, uh, new Pokemon's coming out, new Call of Duty Modern Warfare, definitely. Going to be playing that with Collect and Play and Dido if they're on uh, when that launches. Uh, I have a, a bunch of like games on Nintendo Switch that I want, like uh, Bayonetta 3 is going to be coming out. Um, I'm really into like RPGs, especially like, uh, you know, uh, Final Fantasy games like that. So I'm looking forward to, you know, uh, Final Fantasy 16, uh, Final Fantasy 7 Remake Part 2 that's going to be dropping. Uh, next kingdom hearts game kingdom hearts 4 uh and the next legend of zelda game uh breath of the wild 2 very excited for that one so yeah hopefully yes. they all get released next year or uh, at some point in the near future because yeah i think starfield is another game that i'm looking forward to but i'm pretty sure that's going to be coming out in in a couple years probably right yeah <laughs> no Star, starfield comes out uh in unless it got pushed back um which I, don't think they, <laughs> I don't think they confirmed a release date for that one. I, yeah, I don't think supposed... they confirmed it. Oh, it was supposed no. to, but then there was, I think there's been a lot of those studios are pushing back their dates. Oh yeah. It was just... supposed to come out in November, November of 2022, but it's been pushed back to an undetermined point. Yeah. It's like all I know is 2023, stuff. but when they usually say that they usually push it then like for the next year. So yeah. who knows? Yeah. Hey, what I I'm, I'm, I'm one of the, those people that, don't get mad when when studios push back stuff like that yeah i'd yeah, rather no. it come out perfect than you know or, yeah, they or, should take their time with yeah, the game yeah, yeah. yeah. take take Breath their time with it took nearly a decade to make and it mm -hmm. released with little to no bucks i mean yep. there, there's mm -hmm. some but yep. it's it's pretty dang ironed out yeah i, I kind of miss the era of games where you know they would spend a long time to make the game yep. But usually there were no like updates, no patches, no like broken. You couldn't glitches. patch them. You couldn't yeah, patch you couldn't. them back <laughs> in the day because there was yeah. no internet. I mean, you couldn't like you, you release a PlayStation One game that's uh, got some yeah. bugs in it, and oh, you got a failed release on your hands. You released a broken yeah. game, and exactly. Yeah. Um, usually I mean, I'd say if there's like a huge bug, when... they'll try to release like a, a second version. Like I know Twilight Princess on the Wii had like a, a bug where yeah. you could get locked out of your save halfway. So like yeah. any copies made after like 2008 have that problem fixed or something. But yeah, they usually like never had any problems for the most part. And, Sega yeah. just missed the mark with Sonic 06. Yeah. <laughs> so sad. 
So sad. So sad. Fans are recreating that game now, though. Wait, wasn't that wasn't that like a huge? That was a that was like a meme, right? That was like a meme fail. It, yeah, it was. Oh six, yeah. They 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 were rushed to make that game in like seven months, and it was yeah. going to be like the first big next gen Sonic. Sonic game. Well, they're yeah. coming out with a new. They're coming out with a new uh, open world Sonic game soon. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. It looks good. What is it? What is it called? I, Sonic, Sonic Frontier. 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 Yeah. 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 Is that got? Does that have a release date? I think it's this year. It's supposed to come out like in December. Interesting. Something. I know the, the gameplay trailer that they released was kind of was a little bit dry, but mm. you you uh, should check out the recent one that they put out on uh, really? Nintendo. Yeah, it had a lot of content and looks really okay. cool. Okay. So I want to. We have two more questions. One is kind of a quick one, and one is kind of a just um, probably a little more complex one. Um, I just wanted to add a few games here, and someone mentioned this chat here, but GTA Six. Who knows when that will come out? But yes, please hurry, Rockstar. Please. Ten years of GTA Five. Ten years, Rockstar yeah. Please. Actually, came out recently stating that the, one of the main reasons why they've been taking so long to make it is because, and I'm not going to get too deep into this for obvious reasons, but a lot of the political climate has been way too hot and th even they don't want to dip their toes in it because they could get them in the hot water that's why they've been remaking some of their old games and rushing those that's out. smart that's of course, smart of course i also want to mention overwatch 2 i think that's another big one who knows when that will come out modern warfare yeah that was a good one diablo 4 that was another one i thought yeah. would, deserves a, a mention whenever <laughs> that does happen and uh there is the release of unreal engine 5 so of course you're going to see a whole new generation of games coming out in the coming years absolutely. which now, is absolutely add. incredible the, the, yeah, the unreal incredible. engine 5 I really I, the, the demo that. for that was so fun the matrix demo yes, it was. oh my god it oh my god yeah, it was oh. insane there's yes. also that was insane. everybody get your rtx graphic cards ready <laughs> yeah <laughs> The four series is coming one. out soon, so <laughs> is it? A Wait, RoboCop game coming out uh, next year, Ooh. and I'm really looking forward to that because I'm a big RoboCop fan. Um, awesome. Also, also a new Perfect Dark game coming out. It hasn't been a new Perfect oh, wow. Dark game in so long. Uh, yeah, it seems like the PS3 or something. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The, and also yeah. rumor rumors uh, are going around that um, GoldenEye is going to be officially remade on Xbox, uh, not counting the leak that happened last year, um, but an actual genuine uh, remake that is going to be released. Wow. Yeah, that could be amazing. Amazing. Take that, that with a grain of salt. Don't ruin that, guys. Don't ruin that. <laughs> okay, let's ask these last two questions because we are getting really tight on time here. And I think one of these questions I need to ask 100,000%. But um, I think this is an important one um, because it kind of transitioned from our last question. Um, and I was watching an Asmon Gold video recently talking about, this is actually his last video, I think, unless he posted one today. I'm um, just talking about how games are kind of dead. I'm wondering if any of you guys have, I mean, this is going to probably evoke some strong opinions, but um, maybe Daddy, you want to start us off. Do you you feel like maybe that's true that it just seems like every game is just kind of falling off a little bit do you think there's some truth to that um i don't know what to say about that one really i think for particular games i mean a lot i know a lot of um you know games have, have got sequels and, and and prequels as well and i think you know it gets to the point where it does become a bit repetitive and it's always great to see new games coming out and as you know companies will produce new consoles and things that is where games are, are kind of getting remade and and produced in different forms but again it's kind of like you never know when a new game is suddenly going to pop off like when when stray came out no one could have predicted that that one would have been as successful as i think it was going to be i mean i for one hadn't even heard of it until i first saw someone else play it and I although i didn't play it myself it ps5 was revealed actually oh really yeah oh okay i because I, I hadn't heard of it until it came out and although i didn't play it i i watched the entire game played through by other people and i thought i thought it was very interesting so for me usually it's it's kind of games come out of nowhere but uh yeah that's all i have to say about that what about you agn do you have any opinions on that uh yeah definitely i would say that the gaming space right now a lot of i wouldn't say it's a gaming company problem i would say publishers or the people making decisions for these gaming companies i would i would say Activision. that they've gotten yeah they've gotten <laughs> greedier in the last decade compared to how it used to be and because of that you find a lot of i would say the most popular kind of like mainstream games full of microtransactions dlc paid content 
And, you know, a lot of people just want to play games to have fun. And once you, you know, FIFA in 2007 is very dif different from FIFA now. You know, if you buy oh, yeah. FIFA 2022, like there's so many things you can buy and do when previously you'd buy the game, you would play the game. And I don't know, I feel like people are some people are getting kind of burnt out, you know, buying their favorite games, discovering they have to like, oh, I have to pay for all my favorite characters or everything's broken and not patched. This game was rushed, rushed out. So I can definitely see there being a little bit of like a staleness in at least the, the top 10, maybe most popular games right now, or even the popular games from last year. But to people, I say like, you should definitely try checking out some indie games, uh, games outside of like the popular top 10 games. Usually you'll find games like created with like, you know, a lot of passion and love put into them. And, you know, even games like Minecraft early on, they started out as like passion projects, you know, no DLC, no microtransactions and, you know, look at where Minecraft is today. So you can definitely find like hidden gems still out there, just maybe not in the most popular categories right now. Like I know a lot of people are burnt out with games like Fortnite or Apex or Madden, you know, these kind of like yearly games that come out or are updated yearly, uh, yeah, so definitely check out more indie titles or, you know, Nintendo games or or just games on Steam. You know, there there's so many. Thing, I'll yeah. never be burned out by uh, MLB the Show because <laughs> baseball's in my blood. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> uh, Hoshi, what about you? Do you oh, feel man. like? Uh... <laughs> oh yeah, I definitely. Um, Battlefield, twenty forty two was really looking forward to that game. I'm a big Battlefield fan since way back in the day when I had to go to uh, land centers, were they? Like, where you had to go and play games because I didn't have my own, like, good computer. And yes. so I used nice. to, yeah, I'd go pay $20 for an all-day kind of pass thing, play Battlefield. And then 2042 was coming out. I pre-ordered it and everything. Got, like, higher tier of everything for it. And it came out just being the worst thing ever worst condition yeah. like developers or whoever's putting stuff out too quickly it's just they got and i pre-ordered it I'm, i was so sad oh, yeah <laughs> yeah that's why i don't pre-order games anymore yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah Dang. uh to me a lot of games have been coming out in that same quality and i've been getting kind of burnt out on it and i'm just like man i don't know if i could even look forward to too many games just because they're getting put out in that condition yeah yeah it all started with cyberpunk i swear that was the beginning <laughs> of the downfall right there uh um, just the i actually never had issues with that game i i oh, it's great now it's fun to play now but when it came out when it, when it first I came it out i had one issue um trees that were obviously behind all the buildings would just show up in the forefront <laughs> yeah why <laughs> yeah i thought it was interesting because when that game came out i played it right away I pre-ordered it and everything because I've been following it since like 2004 or yeah. whatever when it was announced and I never had issues. I was like confused because everybody, everybody had some kind of issue in the game and I got lucky. I guess my computer ran it fine. No issues. Beat the game. I loved it. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, collect and play. Uh, we have one question after this, guys, and it's kind of a group question. It'd be like one minute long, but ASMR Collect and Play, do you want to tell us uh, maybe your opinion on whether games are kind of dead right now. What are we, how are you feeling? I would love to. Thank you for asking. I have a controversial <laughs> answer to this. <laughs> Gaming's literally never been better. Never been better than it is right now. And I'm going to quote, um, I'm going to quote my friend Michael Wave on this one. Uh, he's in Team Diverge uh, with me, but uh, he says, Gaming doesn't hit the same because everyone is trying to get something out of it now. <clears throat> they see now that they see that it can be made into a career. Just have fun. This path is not for everyone. So what you guys, what what the viewer sees is a bunch of content creators saying, "Oh, gaming doesn't hit the same anymore." And, but really, what they don't see is the the reason why they say that is because that gamer has or that content creator has more than likely been playing the same game for the last two years or the, the last three years or or however long it's it's been you know that you you got people that 
have been playing Warzone nonstop since it first came out. And while Warzone's a, a lot of fun uh, every now and then, um, for me, it's not something that uh, that I can play nonstop. And and so what these viewers are seeing are, are these are these content creators that play nonstop, and then all of a sudden they have they they have this game under a microscope, and they nitpick all of these tiny little details and sometimes not so tiny um which which that fault then it goes to the to the uh the publisher but um i think there's a lot of a lot of stuff that gets regurgitated from content creators saying oh this game sucks or this game is th this game is this and and in the in the grand scheme of things it doesn't it doesn't suck it's just they're burnt out on it and so they have their opinions on it and and uh, they're more than welcome to have those opinions, but in my opinion, um, no, gaming's not dead. It's not not anywhere close to being dead. It's matter of fact, it's the best it's ever been. That's that's what I would say. Yeah, and to piggyback that's on fun. that, gaming. Uh, if you really don't like games as they are now, you still can go back to the classics. Mm -hmm. For the, most of the time, you could play those games forever and ever. The only exceptions are the ones that have um drm digital rights management attached to them and the company that ran them went uh defunct and the servers are no longer there that's the exception but yeah for the most part you can go back to the classics and there's a huge plethora of games there too yeah 100 absolutely, absolutely. Um, yeah so if i, think I can a, oh, please. yeah please. yeah if i yeah if i can say one last thing kind of piggy, piggybacking off what famcam and collect and play said yeah definitely agree agree with that like gaming right now is in a, in a really good space especially with like the variety like if you go back even like 10 years ago you you'll kind of start to find like oh wait this year like 30 shooters came out in 2011 or or we had like one platformer things like that i would say nowadays like there's such a huge variety of games to play like steam nintendo switch you can even go back and play on older gen systems so That's there's a little bit games. of something yeah yeah there's a little bit of something for everyone but i would say that the people that collect and play is, pro is mentioning you know the ones that are usually very negative uh, or start saying things like oh gaming is terrible now our games aren't fun it's usually with i would say the more I would like multiplayer, you mm -hmm. know, like top 10 yes. multiplayer type games. Yes. Like people will say that about Apex and 100%. they've been playing since it came out. They'll say it about Call of Duty because they've been playing Call of Duty, you know, for years and years. I I would argue that people aren't usually saying that with like single player games, like the new Spider-Man. Like no, one, I, I have not seen a single person say, hey, this yeah. game is not fun. Elden it's Ring. Terrible. Elden yeah, Ring, El I had an Elden absolute Ring blast playing. I had an absolute year, blast. Absolutely like blew up the entire like gaming mm -hmm. sphere. Oh, so yeah. I, I would say single player experiences are like super polished. Still, you're not really finding like broken on day one, except for maybe Cyberpunk. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> single player <laughs> games like the new Zelda, new Mario, uh, you know, we're getting God of War soon. All these games, you know, huge hits, single player. I would yep. say the problem is kind of with like these multiplayer games that people get burnt out on or multiplayer games that get kind of released in a broken state and then people just absolutely like tear into them. Like, uh, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I definitely want to roll back on that. Definitely that my statement was more to, was was definitely geared more towards multiplayer gaming in itself. And yeah. uh, and and alongside of that, uh microtransactions like like I, I can't remember who brought it up uh, is definitely out of way out of hand um but i mean it yeah i understand it but at the same time uh, like from a multiplayer perspective but like a single player perspective i i don't i don't necessarily uh see any value of of releasing dlcs you know why not just release it with the game you know i, I think elden ring did a really good job of doing that yeah. it had like a humongous game um, and right. they kind of showed to everybody that, that it's still possible to just release a full game without yeah, having yeah. any micro transactions and and it will be successful. I mean that game that game will probably win game of the year, uh unless unless uh what God of War comes out. Is God of War comes out this year? They're saying I think so for, for PC, yeah. yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. I've I never played it's... a God of War game, so this is my perfect opportunity. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I I was the same way, and then I played the PC port that play that came out. Um, I've just played it very uh, like probably a couple hours worth of it. I didn't yeah, even finish it. Um, 
but I had a great time doing it. It's just a matter of not finding the time to play it. Um, Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So I wanted to say this, and of course we could have gotten into the future gaming ASMR with VR and all these things. There's so many questions we didn't get to, unfortunately, today. I want to ask one last, this is almost like a group question, really, but um, and it's actually asked um, by Little Waffles on TV. They're just asking, when are we going to get this ASMR gaming, either a tournament or like just good multiplayer? We all get together. Uh, when When is that going to happen, guys? Yeah. Sign me this. up. I can I'm address down. this because um, we are planning on starting a new segment of TingleCon in the winter called JingleCon. And we would absolutely love to do that during JingleCon. Just a big, giant gaming fest. In fact, we get even more creators. Maybe get 16, 20 people in there. That'd be fantastic. Speaking of con, yeah. though, is, any, is, is anyone in the panel going to TwitchCon this year? I am not. Anybody? Anybody? Oh, yeah, that's right. Pam Cam, we've, I've asked you about that. Dido, I'm assuming you're not gonna no, make the make the. Not able to make it, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking. I was, I was thinking my volume right now. You were thinking about it. Now again? it's good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, thank you. Uh, no, I, I'll be there. I'll I will 100% be going there. And I was I'm, I was curious to know if there was any other ASMR content creators going. Yeah, that, sure that's be. what I was wondering actually. Yeah. Like I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I'll be there. I've I've already booked the. I, I I just need to book my flight. That's all like all I got left. So. All right, well, about, if you're going if you're to TwitchCon, make sure you meet up alone. collect and play. Yeah, where, where, where is that going to be at again? Alone, I'll be there. Huh? Where is it going to be at again? Uh, San Diego. Yeah. Ah, okay. I love it. Yeah. So calm. All right, with that all said, everybody, it's been a true honor, true pleasure. Once again, thank you to all you the fans out there. Thank you to all the creators on the panel. I'm sorry if I didn't get your question. We went for two hours, so and amazingly, we literally had like 10 more questions, so but we just can't get to them. Um, so once again, thank you, FamCam ASMR. Thank you for co-hosting. Also, uh, ASMR Collect and Play, ASMR Gaming News, Hoshi ASMR, and Dido ASMR. You can find them all on YouTube. Some of them are on TikTok, uh, everywhere, Twitter. Twitch. Um, so make sure you go check them out. Subscribe, smash the like button. You know, I got to say that at least once in this uh, con. <laughs> and uh, with that all said, Keith, do you want to take us on out of here? I will. But first, as I promised. Oh, yeah. I, we hit bingo. So I'm going to be oh, having something spicy. Wait, what is this? What is the spicy? What is it? So ghost I, pepper. I got some. Um, I don't have Amazing anything ghost, ghost pepper, pepper, but I got. I was some about to say that's, uh, that's. There's a few things I'm going to add. That's not even a joke. <laughs> we're we're about to get some live fan cam ASMR like Sriracha. ASMR. <laughs> yeah. About, oh, okay, wow. you, oh, wow. you mouth sounds. We get the good really, mukbang here. You must really not I rarely like... do mukbang, but when I do, I torture myself. Re uh, Frank's Red Hot, <laughs> which isn't that spicy, but I love it, so I'm including it. Do you really like spicy stuff, or do you really hate spicy stuff? Bro, this... it's my jam. You're supposed to say you hate it, so then we all think. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but <laughs> I'm not. It's more like smart. a reward. Um, and uh, let's see what else. Carolina red barbecue sauce. It doesn't actually. <laughs> oh have my Carolina god, Reaper, which is a shame, <laughs> but it's still pretty dang hot. Is, is this, wait, so this is something that you normally do? You normally combine these things? <laughs> this is what he eats for breakfast every day. I'm pretty sure. This is it. This is the breakfast of champions. Okay, a couple more. A couple more things. Stomach of steel. Some red Yeah, and to say flakes. that we... Oh, there we go. Gotta have that. That's last year, last, have year, a last year I had some pizza on panel um, drowning Oof. in red pepper. Oh, that man. hurt me to watch it. It hurt. It hurt a lot. Oh, oh Jesus. Oh, gosh. Oh Lord! And last but <laughs> most, <laughs> be. last but most definitely a jalapeno least, pepper. Someone, oh, somebody gave this to me for my birthday: Trader Joe's Italian Bomba hot pepper sauce, fermented crushed cr <laughs> Calabrian. Dude, chili pepper. what? Are you that's probably that's probably really spicy. Yeah, let's, that let's, is probably it's really fermented. Spicy. It's fermented. Yeah. So let's uh, dig some. Right. My stomach hurts for you, my friend. Like. Go for it. Oh, Listen, we didn't do a mukbang bad. panel, so this is our mukbang. Our, <laughs> we did a some mukbang in this tingle con, so this is it. Woo! Oh, that was oh, a big old oh scoop. Gosh. That was a big old scoop. <laughs> that was big. Oh. <laughs> Careful in the restroom later. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. <laughs> Ladies and I'm gentlemen, and non-binary folks, have... this has right. been an amazing tingle con, and it's only going to get better from here. Cheers.
Cheers, my friend. <laughs> oh, God. Woo! Oh, God! Ooh. Yeah, there's not enough wow. spicy emoticons to <laughs> adequately show how spicy that must be. It's delicious. You need some milk. You need some milk. <laughs> oh, I got ice cream. I'll get later. Uh, yeah, I get a little dairy for a in there quickly. Wee. Oh man. Is, yeah. it, wait, is the nacho like purpley black? Hmm. Yeah. Show the, show the color of, of is the nacho yeah, like yeah, purple? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got purple chips. He's got purple. Yeah, chips. these are blue that's, chips. That's one you know. That's one you know. Yeah, blue chips are my jam. Uh, what are those corn? Maybe. They got the corn chips. Corn yeah, chips. Maybe yeah. a few more. Yeah, blue corn. Yeah. yeah. Oh, here's a, here's a good one. Yeah, this is a good one. Oh, it kind of, look, it kind of looks like pizza, kind of. <laughs> it does. What I was thinking too. Pizza from hell. Pizza chips. Yes. <laughs> uh, Keith, the things you we do. You oh, know? The things we do for entertainment. The things. You, <laughs> that's right. This is all for you guys out there. Everyone in single yeah. con land. You, you earned it. He's so getting an it. ulcer for you to enjoy. <laughs> you know, that's it. Surprisingly enough, I've never had an ulcer. Oh, wow. Well, Keith, <laughs> don't tempt the, the stomach ulcer gods because they will. <laughs> I said the same thing and I just had one too many habaneros and that was it. No, oh, man. Oh, yeah. I'm surprised he's barely <laughs> reacted so far as well. well. He's starting to I am yeah. kind of like, amazed. I... Give it some time. <laughs> What I was I'm kind of, I'm kind of, of low key getting hungry for some Doritos. Now. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. starving now. All of a sudden. Yeah, that all said. Yeah, all right, I'm Keith. Go get some food too. Keith, how we looking there? How? Where's the bowl? Let's see what's left in that bowl. Let's make sure you're not. Uh, yeah, let's get a check. Left. Oh, there looks right, like. Let's get a little. <laughs> There's a I want to see like that big. I see a big chunk there. Oh. Let's get oh, you that. Mean this right here. Is the nose yeah. is, has the has the nose started? That's sweating. the fermented stuff as well. Mm. We do we have the sweat? Do we have the beads of sweat on your head yeah. yet? Is that because that's got to be? I mean, that's got to be it. That looks lethal. Yeah, I like. I think so. Oh beak. man, we got a love it. Lot of love in the chat here as uh, we get this ulcer and close out this panel. <laughs> <laughs> this, you know. Ooh now you gotta do that while gaming that's what i think you gotta game oh, so do asmr and eat spicy i got a little story for y'all <laughs> before i did asmr i did um a non a non-gaming a non-gaming <laughs> or non non asmr gaming youtube channel and i ate spicy foods a, uh, a lot there um <laughs> the quality was terrible um i I did get rid of it a long time ago, but I'm kind of bringing so it back here on Twitch. Uh, somebody <laughs> shout out FamCam Gaming. That's my upcoming uh, non ASMR gaming channel here on Twitch. Um, starting after TingleCon, first stream is going to be on the 25th at 8 p.m. Pacific time, 11 p.m. Eastern time. I'm going to be doing a GoldenEye multiplayer uh, stream with James Bond 235. If you I'm, make it to that, if, yeah. it, <laughs> if you make, I will be doing a lot. If you don't die in the next five days, I will days, be doing a lot right. of spicy food there. Yeah, you got a little dust in your throat. It sounds like Keith. Is that yeah. what's a little, a little, a little, a little, a little better for ASMR voice. right now? Oh. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, it, maybe this is the secret. Eat some spicy, and then you'll be like, guys. Uh. <laughs> it, it does. Uh, it does bring up a lot of. Uh, yeah, yeah. Something's there. Some <laughs> secret there. You kind of sound yeah. like Solid Snake from Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> <laughs> yes, do that we got a snake reference. We got a snake reference. Yeah, exactly. Bam, Cam, I'm gonna just make you a little bit jealous here with this nice, refreshing water. Water? <laughs> okay, that's how I know you don't torture. eat spicy food. Water <laughs> so makes torture. it worse. Yeah. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> someone, someone drinks some milk right now oh. for Cam. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay, it looks like my camera battery is just dying, so that's our cue to go on. All right, the... guys. Well, that's yeah. it. Yes, Keith, are, thank you so 20. much for that. Thank we you are to 20 all our panels. Over. Thank you. Thank so, you. Yeah. So upcoming <laughs> is <sighs> upcoming is uh, uh, our special ASMR collab of Black Adder. We all been waiting for put together by the ever so amazing Jess K Creative ASMR. Uh, uh, it's also starring Swan Arms ASMR, our very own Nathan and Tingle Smith, and Pondering Tales and Yoloma ASMR. And guess what? Simon Osborne is reprising his role as Pit 
the younger so stick around you don't want to miss it it's going to be a lot of fun and after that our two hour asmr reel to close out the day with Clyde Whispers, Yoloma, myself, Secret Scholar, Raina Tamarin, Bay Asmar, Lamaria Asmar, and J Rob the Human. And after that, we will raid somebody. And starting on the next day, day three, the last day, is going to be the Science ASMR. It's the Science of ASMR with Julia Poirio. Um, and then Cosplay with Amy K. Riley Rosie, Whisper Wind, Tingle Smith. And then a Spanish pale, pale panel uh, that Car- <laughs> Car- our very own Carol ASMR is hosting with Mole ASMR, Sleepy Tingles ASMR, Al ASMR. That panel will be in Spanish, but it will have subtitles. Thank you, Carol, for putting those together. You worked your heart <laughs> and soul on that. Um, then an outdoor ASMR workshop with Nathan, followed by a final staff Q&A. And then the future of ASMR with ASMR Destiny and our last ASMR reel to close out the con with Whisper Wind, Tingle Smith, Swarm, Samantha Whispers, James Bond 235, Shiver Me, Tingle Scan, and Independent Bitch. Whew. How did I do, folks? Sam <laughs> Cam, my throat burns ASMR. Wow, that's wow. a that could be a literal video. Wow. Skate montage. You just gave Thank a freebie right there. Yeah, <laughs> Where is ASMR gaming? <laughs> yeah, check out everybody on this. All, all six of us do ASMR gaming, at least some, a lot, some of us. It's our niche. And without that, we are out. Peace, baby.